Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Happy, happy Monday. How is it going? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, so excited to be here. What is going on, everybody? How you all doing today? It's so nice to see ya. So this is uh, the start of our first Monday on YouTube again, which is pretty, pretty wild. It's uh, it's it's going to be a super, super fun day. I'm very, very excited. Welcome on in, everybody. How you all doing? I see you all. Welcome, uh, Shroud. Welcome on in. Lauren, so nice to see you. Reaper Kitty. Uh, maybe welcome on in. Azzy, how are you all doing today? Crystal, what is going on? So nice to see the gang is here. Also, chat. I hate I hate to spam this sometimes, but if, if you are enjoying the stream, I mean, it just started, but if you could like the stream, it really, really, really helps, uh, helps out on YouTube, really helps out. Sev, what's going on, homie? What is going on? So nice to see everybody. Okay, we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna be doing today. Well, quite a bit. We're working on the farmland still. It's coming together. It's, uh, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Zion, what's going on? Reaper Kitty, oh, you're still feeling sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Everybody's getting it. Everybody's getting it, honestly. Everybody's getting it. Do something crazy and you'll like the stream. Okay, watch this. Wild, right? Wild, right? Like the stream or a pigeon will coo at your window at 4.30 a.m. That's terrifying. Pigeons are low-key scary because they're like <clears throat> really smart. All right, let me show you all. I'll just go into free cam. Let me show you what I've been working on this morning. Um, it looks really terrible right now because I find when crops are growing in, it just looks bad. But I'm getting there with planting stuff. It's starting to come together. So I'm doing all wheat around here. Um, I'm going to do potatoes and stuff over here, I think. That's kind of the plan. I'm wondering if I should shave some of like, this wheat off, though, and maybe get like a couple rows of something else. Maybe like about here. Like a nice patch right here. I might do that. Um, let me start recording replay because I might use this footage uh, in my video later on. So let's try that out. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to like, there's a couple things I'm going to need today. So I need azalea leaves because I'm actually bordering everything with azalea. As always, it's my favorite plant. It looks very crunchy. It looks very nice. <laughs> so... I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna need some azalea leaves. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to like bone meal some of the carrots and stuff. We don't have enough. I never planted that many in this world. So we definitely do not have enough for this one. Oh, and lavender. I wanna do like flower fields kind of closer to the windmills. Uh, I think that would look really, really cute. Like surround some of these little pockets with some flowers. So we're gonna be planting a ton of a ton of crops today. Just a lot. That was epic stream liked. Let's go. Let's go. Johnny, what's going on, homie? It's so nice to see ya. So nice to see ya. I'm so talented. How have you not been nominated for an Oscar? I know, right? That was that was a performance of a lifetime, wasn't it? <laughs> oh gosh. I like you in chat uh, and stream, but bird squawking at 4 30 a.m. No. Yeah, I, that's what I'm feeling too. You know what? Sometimes owls sound kind of cool, but there it, it is like a little bit jarring and frightening, I would say. I would say that's the vibe. Are we being recorded? No, not you. Not you. Oh gosh. My voice is very my throat's very dry today. Very, very dry. Well, I hope you all had a really fantastic weekend though. Hope you all had a good one. I think I'm gonna start by repairing some of this. Um, I think I went a little bit too far on the wheat. So let's start right here. I'll rip this up. All of my hard work that I just did. Probably to about like, yeah, this one, I would say. Okay, okay. That's all right. I was just vibing this morning. I was planting some crops. Kind of like drinking, drinking some coffee while I was doing that. It was very lovely. Very, very lovely. But I think I went a little bit too overboard in some spots. Let's see. So something like that. I'm wondering if maybe we like kind of line this. Hmm. Let's see. 
line some of this with azalea leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the vibe. That is the vibe. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna have to repair some of this stuff. Let's replant this. I don't really care if I lose too many seeds. I think I have enough by now um, for the wheat at least. The other ones I don't for sure, but that's all, that's all right, that's all right. Threw my back out struggling, but you make it better. Oh no, Johnny, I'm so sorry to hear that. Throwing your back out is like the worst pain ever and it happens so unexpectedly. That, um, that and I find kink, like uh, getting a kink in your neck it hurts so bad. I hope you heal up quickly. Take it easy for sure if you can. Take it easy. Anna, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? How you doing? Happy Monday. I hope you're having a good one. Moon, so nice to see you. How you doing? Uh, still at work, but you'll join later. No worries. I hope work is going well for you. Okay, I'm going to get some of these trees. We're going to have to shear just like a bunch of them. Just a bunch of them. Good thing I've got some bone meal. Let's go to sleep really quickly. My embarrassing gameplay of Baldur's Gate was recorded and put on YouTube this weekend. Y'all hearing my own voice makes me cringe so bad. Oh my gosh, you you put that up yourself? That's awesome. Man, I still want to try that game. It looks very, very fun. I just haven't had the time lately, honestly. All right, let's plant some of these trees over here. Let's go to like a little area over here where we can just like shear stuff. Hello, sheep. So there's like a giant cliff drop off on this side and i actually kind of like it i want to build like a retaining wall around here at some point i think that would look super cute now that i've kind of like i'm just going to show you all quickly again we're going to go going to go free cam now that i've like placed these windmills started planting crops and all of that stuff i can kind of more clearly see what we can do with this area like i was looking at this i was like oh yeah like a giant sheep farm could like go in here there, there can be like so much more like farm stuff around here. I'm very, very excited. I think like this project is definitely going to kind of like dictate how the farmland looks in a way. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. All right, let's start planting or bone mealing some of these dudes. Nice, nice. Your friend recorded it and streamed it and then re-uploaded it to YouTube and just know, ah, yes, ah, I get you, I got you, I got you. It's always, I find it's always jarring at first to like hear your own voice, <laughs> especially when you're not used to it. Like when I first started making YouTube videos, I was like, huh, this is wild. I'm a, I'm a little bit more used to it now, but I was, it felt very, very odd before. It's insane what's going on welcome on in how you doing happy monday ian welcome on in how you doing it's so nice to see you homie how's everyone's weekend been mine was very restful um some of our plans got canceled over the weekend uh because i like everybody else my friends have uh kind of like fallen ill and stuff i ended up going to the mall over the weekend though which was good because i need some new fall clothing so i did that um we made a really nice dinner the other night we had what did we have it was pork schnitzel and then abs she uh like made smashed potatoes which were incredible they were like so salty and crispy they were almost like potato chips and we had like a garlic dip with them it was very very good i'm going the wrong way not used to this farmland yet hee <laughs> hee but it was delicious and yeah we just like kind of like hung out took it easy We've both been like, I feel like we've been super, super busy lately. So it was nice to have like a couple of uh, restful days after cleaning the house and stuff too. Oh, also we took, we ended up getting Ruth to the vet, which makes me feel so much better. Um, poor kitty. She just has a little bit of, it's called dermatitis. <laughs> uh, actually, I need this wheat. I need some food first. Oh wait, no, I don't. I don't need food yet. <laughs> but I do need iron. Um... Poor little Ruthie, she's got a little case of dermatitis. It's a, I guess it's like a skin condition or something because we basically, we saw these little like bumps on like around her head and stuff. It's caused usually by allergies and apparently fleas, but he like flea combed her. She doesn't have any of those, couldn't see a thing. So 
We're gonna have to like see what she might be allergic to uh, in our house. I don't know though. It's kind of weird that it's happened because we're like, we literally cannot, oops. We can't think of anything she would be allergic to. We haven't changed anything. So like, honestly, it could have just been something really random that she's gotten into. Um, and she also had chin acne, which they gave us like a shampoo for and it's already cleared up. She, her energy levels have been totally okay though, which is why we were like not super worried about it. Um, I would have been really worried if she suddenly was sleeping all the time, but I'm glad that we like took her to the vet so we could just figure it, figure it out. So we're not like freaking out the whole time, but she's just got a little, little bit of a skin condition and hopefully like it'll just clear up soon. We're going to like try to figure out what in our house is causing it, but I have no idea, no idea. Poor, poor kitty. Hope Ruth, Ruth gets better. Me too. Me too. I felt so bad as long as like, as long as she's not in pain, if it's something that's like relatively painless, then I'll feel, I feel a lot better. When we went to the vet, he like removed one of them and she didn't flinch or anything. She was so good at the vet too. Um, she didn't flinch or anything, which is a really good sign that she's like, it's not causing her too much pain. It's only going to cause a lot of pain if a lot show up, probably. Then it could get like a little bit uncomfortable. But if that happens, he said just to bring her back and they'll take a look at her again. And maybe like if they have to like give her antibiotics or something. But so far, so good. She's doing good. But as a reward for being so good at the vet, we got her a little um, cat sill for the window. So she can uh, look out the window a little bit easier in our living room. And oh my gosh, chat, when I tell you, she was living for that. We put it up and she literally slept on it all day yesterday. It was so sweet. So, so sweet. I was so happy. She deserved it though. She was very, very good yesterday at the vet and she was very nice to the vet, the vet person. He was very sweet, but she was also very nice to him as well. Very good, Ruth. <laughs> Hope she feels better, dude. Dang, yeah. You can get, uh, cats can get all sorts of, uh, human conditions. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of like what we learned through this, where it's like cats can get like eczema and stuff too, you know? It's totally, totally possible. I mean, like, cats can even feel like stress and stuff. So I, like, it's one of those things where we didn't, I, it's not that I never considered it, but I was just like, oh yeah, <laughs> that can happen. I'm just trying to like safely get down here without ruining my crops. There we go. There we go. Oh, seven for Ruth. Yeah. Oh, seven. Oh, seven, buddy. But yeah, I'm glad we had it looked at because I was definitely a little bit worried. I just didn't want her want anything to be like super uncomfortable for her either. Right. It's the last thing you want with a pet, but she's uh she's all good. She's all good, I think. What did I miss? Oh yeah, I was just telling, um, I was just filling everyone in on the vet visit for Ruth. And we today we are building up our farmland. So kind of been working on this slowly, but surely. I think it's coming together really nicely. I'm very, very excited. We're getting there. So this morning I placed a bunch of like wheat around here. And then now I'm kind of separating some areas for some carrots, potatoes, all of that stuff. I think I'm gonna do a huge patch here a huge patch here and then divide these up a little bit as well. <laughs> Fatima, what's going on? It's so nice to see you. How you doing? Happy Monday. All right, let's rip this up. Ah. It's your last day watching videos. Uh, you're moving to Stanford University in Thailand to study. Oh my gosh, first of all, congratulations on uh, on your studies. That's very, very exciting. I hope it all goes well. Hope it all goes well. That's incredibly exciting. My cat has terrible allergies and have to take mes medicine almost every day. Is it just like general allergies? I wonder if she's just like a little bit sensitive to weather change or something like that too, like Ruth. I don't, cause I, we can't think of anything that we've changed in the last couple of months. It's really bizarre. 
All right, I'm just gonna build like a little azalea barrier going down like this and maybe into the water like that. And then this is where we can place a couple more crops here. Looks good, super glad Ruth is doing well and it went uh, well at the vets, yeah. I'm always a little bit anxious bringing her to the vet, but she's always so good with it, honestly, it's wild. Even when there's like dogs and stuff around, she's just like vibing, absolutely vibing. Okay, I think this looks a little bit better. Let's take a look. Yeah, so here's all of our wheat. That looks pretty good. This is very steep here though. I almost wonder if I should fix that. Like just bring it out like a tiny little bit. Cause there's a lot of steep fall offs there. And then over here we can have like a little circle of potatoes and then go back to carrots or beetroot, something like that. Where should I start that off? Maybe like right here. Yeah, let's do that. Do, 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 do. Something like that. That looks good. And then, oh, I need to harvest some of this stuff because I don't have any potatoes. None. This is all I've got. This is literally all I've got. I can't believe I've never bothered planting potatoes before in this world. What is going on? What is going on? One of my dogs has allergies on her butt. She gets dry skin so bad when she needs uh, butt scratches, she'll back up on you. Oh, poor thing. I wonder like if that's kind of what Ruthie's getting where it's just like really bad dry skin. It, I wonder if that's what it is. Cause like right around the same time, the acne popped up too, you know? Estella's a tortoiseshell kitty. Tortoiseshells are so cute. Love tortoiseshells. Done with uh, two major exams. Relaxing after two hectic weeks and this stream popped up at the right time. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I hope your uh, exams went well. Hope you get a little bit of rest and yeah, definitely sounds like it popped up right at the right time. Exams always really stressed me out. I was so, so mad <laughs> with dealing with them. I would always end up doing well, but like the stress of having to do them, I was always like, oh, I hated it. Hated it so much. You have to make onion gravy for dinner. Um, yes, I live off of onion gravy. And I'm uh, through the next stage to join the special con constabulary? Wait, what is that, Ian? What is that? Also, oh my gosh, onion gravy sounds delicious. I don't think I've ever had it before, but it sounds very, very good. I'm wondering if I should plant like lilacs here, by the way, chat. I feel like lilacs would look really nice. Okay, let's go get some of those. Taco, welcome on in. How you doing? It's so nice to see you. Also, chat, uh, if you haven't yet and feel like giving this stream a like, uh, it really, really helps out the streams. I would very, very appreciate, very much appreciate it. Only if you're enjoying it, though. Of course, no pressure, no pressure. Space or what's going on? So nice to see you. How you doing? Happy Monday. Some cats can be sensitive to scented candles and other scented things like oils and make it look like an allergic reaction. I wonder if that's what it is. We do have downstairs um, in the summer. Sometimes we have like a small air freshener running. I wonder if it's that, but it's weird because we had it last year and she never reacted to it. I might try unplugging that and see if it uh, makes a bit of a difference. What did I need again from here? Oh my gosh, it is Monday, am I right? Or am I right? I'm look. I'm going back to look here. Oh, lilacs, lilacs. That's what it is. It is definitely Monday vibes right now. Definitely. No potatoes. How is that possible? Right? I know. I just like. <laughs> I've never planted like anything in this world besides wheat because I always use wheat for the cows, and that's it. My dog has allergies and uh, she has yeast on her skin. They always have yeast, but it's overactive now because of allergies. I wonder if that's what it is. Cause sometimes like um, we took her to the vet last year. Like sometimes during change of season, she gets the sniffles, like literally just sneezes a little bit. And then it goes away after like a week and a half. Um, so I wonder if it's something like that. It's literally just like allergies. And this is her a way like that her body's acting up this year. 
What will you have for dinner tonight? Ooh, I don't know. I think we have leftovers. So we might we might do leftover uh, potatoes and stuff like that. Oh, Abs also made like these uh, like mashed turnips with like a ton of butter and salt. That was very good, by the way. Very, very good. It was like just like a really nice home cooked meal last night, which we haven't really had in a while. It was delicious. Now that the weather's like kind of uh, changing again, we're definitely like kind of wanting more home cooked meals. During the summer, I find we just like make like a lot of sandwiches. Uh, what's it called? Like girl dinners and stuff. Picky bits from the UK, if you will. <laughs> stuff like that. And um, now that the weather's heating up, I'm like, I'm craving soup and like, I don't know, like chicken and stuff. It's very good. What's what's on the dinner menu for you, Sev? Actually, all of chat. What's what's on the dinner menu? Have you fought fought, not fought, thought that far in advance today? Happy basically Halloween, by the way. No, nah, for real. Halloween, like it's basically Halloween at this point. Basically. I say end of September is when you can start watching like scary films and stuff, for sure. Are you pro or anti candy corn? Ooh, good question. Honestly, you know what? When I was a kid, I used to eat a lot of candy corn, but I think it used to like contribute to a lot of stomach aches and my teeth feeling weird. I'm, I don't think I'm pro or anti. I don't think I can handle eating as much as I did when I was a kid, but I definitely don't mind like eating a couple, you know, just a couple here and there. I can understand why people don't really like it though. It is very sweet, you know? Mohammed, welcome on in, how you doing? What is going on? Hope you're having a good one. I need more bone meal, I think. Yes. Yeah, I think the lilacs are looking very, very nice up there. I just want like an array of like different colors and stuff for all of these fields. Also, just learned you can plant flowers on soil. Yes, I learned that like, I feel like maybe the last time I did farmland and it blew my mind. I never considered it really, but it looks really good. It looks like a nice little garden, you know? You've been eating so much ramen. You know what? It's the season for ramen for sure. Ramen season is upon us. Usually in the summer, I don't really want it. I find that it's like very, it's super fulfilling, like very, very fulfilling. And like too, almost too warm and too rich in the summer. But once fall hits, I'm like, yes, give me, give me ramen. This is Dark Fairy. What's going on? It's so nice to see you. How you doing? Probably make myself a sandwich or something. Today's sandwich vibe for me. Love it. Love it. You know what? Sometimes all you need is like a good sandwich or like a toasty. You know what I mean? That's all you need. Whee! We had chili con carne. It's the right amount of hot spice uh, for this kind of weather. Yes, that sounds delicious as well. If you put lilacs in wonky lines, it might look better and you won't need as many. Yeah, I might I might break a couple here and there, to be honest. I want to see how it looks like, pr like filled up. And then if not, I might break a couple. Block down, homie. What's going on? So nice to see ya. What's going on? What is that fishy smell? It's the one and only Blockdown builds, isn't it? Isn't it? When did Blockdown lose the builds? I think you did that a while back, right? I'm pretty sure. A year ago. <laughs> Not even just a while back. A long time ago. Clearly. Oh my gosh. Time. What is it? You know? Okay, let's bone meal a couple more of these. Let's see. I do like it very full because of like it, it, it pops more for sure. Yeah. All right, let's bone meal this one a bunch more. Gotta have my favorite flower, like an entire field of it, you know? Whee! I can't even see the plant right now. There's so much bone meal. <laughs> oh my gosh. 64. Let's do maybe another stack. I need to set up like a flower farm, you know? 
Didn't have any dinner plans, but now I want chili. Chili is great as well. Very easy to whip up and just like super delicious and you get a couple meals out of it. I find chili also freezes very well, you know? Anime dude, what's going on? Welcome in, how you doing? You can fortune the two tall flowers to get more. Can you really? I don't know if I have fortune on anything though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Wait, would it work with a pickaxe? Let's see. Oops. Oh, I think it did work. Oh wait, no, it didn't. I think it, does it have to be on a hoe though? Dang it. I need to really fix up my enchantments, honestly. The next thing I want to do is get some villagers in this world, I think. Mario, thank you so much for the five. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Can I get some big, big swags in chat? Throw down all the swags, I want to see it. Been a while since we caught a live. My daughter loves you and we're both watching. Could you say hi to Mila? Hello, Mila, I hope you're both having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much again for that uh, super chat. I really appreciate it. Right now we are working on some cozy farmland today. And I think this lilac patch, hold on, a couple more right here should be enough. Got him? What, you were just kidding? Oh my gosh, block down. Come on, I thought you were for real. I thought, I thought fortune did work on crops. <laughs> I swear it did. <laughs> block down showing his true colors. <laughs> He's always a true homie at the end of the day. Always. I like to make up large pots of spaghetti sauce, then vacuum pack uh, individual bags. That way when we want spaghetti, just grab a pouch and put in the pasta. Yeah, for real. We're going to start doing that um, a bit more now. We used to not be able to do that in our old apartment because it was so... Our freezer was so small and also it had like a temperature control issue where like things would definitely defrost and then refreeze we never kept meat in there never it was it was a problem <laughs> but um now this year we definitely can we love blocky exactly we love him how could you not i got excited it would work me too honestly Thought it was pronounced Myla. Okay, if, yes, if it's, wait, which, which is pronounced Myla? Then, wait, wait, I'm lost. I'm lost. Drift is lost, what else is new? All right, uh, let's get some potatoes and stuff bone mealed, except that's kind of more of a pain to bone meal. All right, what do we have going on here? We have the wheat fields, which it's very steep right here. I might have to fix this up a little bit. That's okay, we can kind of just like, we can cheese it a bit. Uh, and then over here, I think we're gonna do, let's do carrots on this one with a little bit of orange and then potatoes over here, I think. I would also eventually like to get like a little path kind of maybe running through here and we can do like a fishing dock. And then maybe I can have block down here as a guest star if he'll, if he wants. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be my way to get block down in this world. Fortune works on crops? It does? Block down. Were you actually right all along? All right, let's get, let's go over here and then carrots. Get rid of these potatoes for now. We'll replant them over here. Uh, 23 potatoes, not bad, not bad. Okay, that's 23 really is not a lot. Ah! Oh no. Oh god. Okay. I'm just gonna go sleep really quickly. I'm not I don't want mobs to spawn. If they do and then they blow something up, I'm gonna be very sad. <laughs> so no thanks. No thanks. Fishing dock, heck yes. Heck yeah. I'll do whatever you ask, my friend. Same goes to you, buddy. Same goes to you. 
Hello, Drift. Uh, we love you, Moses and Don again. My son wants to know what your favorite movie is. Oh my gosh, favorite movie. We were talking about this last stream. We were talking about this last stream and I like anytime I think of try to think of my favorite movie. I don't know. I, I honestly love I just love watching movies in general. OK, I'll, I'll hit you. I'll hit you with uh, some of my favorite classics uh, from when I was younger. You know what? I got to I got to give it to Shrek. Every time I go back to watch Shrek, Shrek 1 and 2, certified, guaranteed to make me laugh, and also probably some of the best soundtrack in like any movie I've ever heard. Big, big props to Shrek. And I don't mean that like ironically in any way. It's just genuinely like they're funny movies. They're very, very funny. And I would say also another one that I really loved growing up was Toy Story. Toy Story 1 and 2 were my absolute faves. Favorite is Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my gosh, I loved those films when I was little. Loved them. Like, they kind of scared me. I still love them to this day, but like, when I was younger, I watched them constantly. And they always kind of scared me, especially that scene where like, Sally kind of like fakes drinking that soup. <laughs> That scene really scared me when I was younger. There was something about it that was just kind of creepy. But what what a phenomenal film, honestly. Honestly. Now I'm reading that the way the bot understood it is making me laugh. Wait, what is going on? Oh, Johnny's messages got Johnny's message got flagged. Did it really? Oh my gosh. Classic. Classic. <laughs> also, big tiny duck. What up? How you doing? So nice to see you, even though I saw you this morning before you went to work. Also, Big Tiny Duck, please don't hate me. I might eat the rest of that Thai soup later. We got this really good Thai soup at the grocery store and I'm very, very hungry. So I might have to take a quick little break and warm that up. I'm very sorry, Big Tiny Duck. If you put leaves into the uh, water holes for the farms, you won't fall into them and they waterlog so that you don't lose anything. Yeah, I might end up doing that as well or I might cover them with like uh, barrels and stuff. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet because I like to add rock piles and stuff. All right, let's till some of this land. My favorite movie at this moment personally would be Wally. -E. I haven't seen that movie in a hot minute. I remember I really enjoyed it when it came out. I think I've only seen it a couple times though. Same with, um, I forget. I think we were talking about it on stream the other day, Wreck-It Ralph. That's another one that I haven't seen in forever, but I really enjoyed it when it first came out. I love Hocus Pocus and the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. Must watch it in spooky season. I actually have never seen the Haunted Mansion, but I heard it's genuinely a very, very good movie. So I think that one's on my list this year. I mean, it was so good they made a ride out of it, didn't they? Or something? Hocus Pocus is great as well. That's like a, that is a classic. That one's definitely a certified classic for me. It's okay. Okay, thank you, Big Tiny Duck. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I might just have to eat it. We'll go get more uh, the next time we go shopping. It was very good. Omar, welcome on in. How you doing? It's so nice to see you. Night at the Museum, such a good one. Yeah, that movie actually slaps. I love it. It's very silly. <clears throat> it's got Robin Williams in it too, right? The first one at least. So do people watch Nightmare Before Christmas in October or December? Okay, I'm more of, it could go either way. Honestly, I think there's some years that I've watched it in December. I'm more of a watch it in October kind of gal for sure. But that's one that could definitely go either way. Moses' favorite is Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Super Mario Bros. Uh, movie that I got him. Yo, nice. Super Mario Bros. movie, I heard it was actually very good. Very good. That's awesome. I need more dirt to fix up that sand very quickly. The Haunted Mansion ride came first. Wait, what? It did? 
I thought they made a movie based off of it. Huh? That's awesome. Wait, did the Pirates of the Caribbean ride come first then? Or was that like afterwards? Because I know like some rides have exist. Like now that I know that some rides have existed before, like this is all like kind of changing my perception of Disney. <laughs> like I, it's not what I thought it was then. I need, oh yeah, I needed more dirt. Oh, this part is going to look so good. Oh my gosh. Very excited. Very excited. Let's get a couple more stacks, maybe just in case. We'll go around the long way. Anywhere before Christmas is Halloween and a Christmas movie if you're brave enough. Exactly. Hey, who, see, that's the good thing about that movie. If you really want to, you could watch it twice, you know? Madagascar was so funny. I watched him a lot as a kid. Madagascar is one of those movies that I never watched much. And same with um, Ice Age. I feel like I missed out on Madagascar and Ice Age because a lot of people really love those two movies. And for some reason, I never really watched much of them. And now I'm like, I think I, I think I missed out on some like iconic movies, you know? I really think I did chat. Really think I did. Let's get one more right here, just in case. You have to watch The Addams Family? Oh, absolutely. Those movies are so funny. You're talking about like the live action ones, right? I loved those growing up with that. Uh, is it Christina Ricci in them? I'm pretty sure. Pirate's Ride came first. Okay, that's wild. See, now I'm, lear I'm learning so much. I Like, I always assumed that, like, those types of rides, it's like the movie was so successful that the rides came after, you know? <laughs> Blocked out. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What were you trying to say? <laughs> what was that? What were you trying to do there? <laughs> what was that typo? Oh no. Oh no. What is going on here? Hold on. Let me fix this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's better. Ice Age was your whole childhood? Oh my gosh. I missed out on this. What? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me, chat? Why did I miss out on so many good movies? I don't know what it is. They just kind of like flew under the radar <laughs> for me for some reason. I never watched Ratatouille until a year ago for some reason. So can relate. Yeah, that's what that movie is like. I feel like that one didn't get a lot of hype when it first came out. But oh my gosh, it is such a good movie. I think that might have to be one of my favorite Pixar movies now as an adult. Ah, help me. There we go. Okay, I think that should be good. Wrapping all the way around. Gonna have to fix those up later. I could just plant seeds on them and not have to worry about watering them. Ice Age had Sid singing about the extinction of mammoths to his uh, mammoth BFF. You can't get any better than that. See, I've missed out on so much. I don't even, all I know is that there's like some like squirrel thingy that's trying to get like an acorn the whole time. And he's like, massively failing at it <laughs> new block down lord just dropped yeah i i love how he just dropped that and is not even explaining himself <laughs> he's just left <laughs> he's gone <laughs> like all right fair enough dude fair enough Yeah, I need to check out the Super Mario Bros. movie, though, because I heard it was one of those films where, like, it was apparently very good for, like, kids, but also, like, a lot of the adults enjoyed it as well. Time's going by so fast that I can't keep up with watching my movies. Always busy. I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I feel like there's so much stuff to watch now, and I just, like, I've fallen behind so easily on, like, 
so many things that I've wanted to watch, which is why we're starting. Like we kicked off. Well, we actually didn't even kick off. We were going to kick off watching fall stuff yesterday. We've already started Gilmore Girls. We started that when uh, September hit, but now we got to get into the cozy movies. We were going to start last night, but we ended up, I forget what we ended up doing. <laughs> I think we played some Fortnite instead, of course. Classic. All right, now I can sleep. I thought his name was Scratch until I rewatched the movie recently. Wait, what was it called? The squirrel gave me anxiety as a kid. Honestly, fair enough. I feel like it's a little bit anxiety inducing watching this dude like not be able to fulfill his ne like his dream of getting the acorn. It's like, dude, you just got to figure this out. And he always gets himself into like weird situations. Queep things you would not understand. Got it, dude. Got it. I'll, I'll beg you to fill me in later so I'm not out of the loop. I'll beg you. All right, I need some more bone meal. And then let's bone meal some of our crops so we can get more carrots and potatoes. Also, I need to... What's on the list today is fixing up this little area. It's a little bit too steep. I think we need to, like, bring it out a tiny bit more. Now I think we're good. I should have done that earlier, but that's all right. I thought maybe some of the wheat would cover up like the steep edges, but Coraline Halloween Town and Nightmare Before Christmas is a must this year. Oh my gosh, Halloween Town. I didn't watch that until Big Tiny Duck showed it to me. And boy, oh boy, that's that's another one I missed. And I was like, I am so sad I never watched this growing up because it was like hilarious in the best way possible. So good. Ah! Coraline is also a really good one. I love that film. I used to be so obsessed with it. I had like the DVD for it and I used to watch like the making of in the extra in the deleted scenes like all the time. I'm sure you could probably find it on YouTube, but it's like fascinating the way that they filmed it. I just think claymation is so cool, though. It's just like wild how they do that. Perfect. Can we uh, rewatch the Queen's Gambit? Wait, are you? Oh, the oh, sorry, the the que Queen's Gambit. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, we can. Big Tiny Duck. We will we will rewatch the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> Sounds like I have a cold when I say it like that. <laughs> oh God. Wait, are we talking about One Tree Hill? Wait. Sev, you're watching Gilmore Girls now? Sorry, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. Sev, how are you enjoying Gilmore Girls? I, uh, I watched One Tree Hill for the first time a couple months back. I think I started it in the summer because I that's another show I never watched growing up because I was more of like an OC fan. So I was like, ah, One Tree Hill, it's probably the same thing. First of all, it's not. It's not even close to being the same thing. And second of all, it gets ridiculous pretty fast. Like... <laughs> The OC kind of does too. They do, they end up getting like very dramatic very quickly, but that one was an interesting watch for sure. I didn't finish it though, but I heard like even later down the line in like the season of seasons of One Tree Hill, like weird stuff just happens. Do you like farming? I actually do like farming. I find it to be very relaxing. Once you like get into the groove of it, it takes a long time, but once once you're in the groove, it can be really, really fun. Gilmore Girls is so good. I'm obsessed and screaming and shipping people. Oh, absolutely, Sev. I need to like, we need to do like a deep dive la later, I, especially cause like it's your first time watching it. I just want to hear all your thoughts on it. I'm going to be bugging you later for sure. That's one of my favorite fall shows, favorite. Lisa, thank you so, so, so much for the 10 chat. Can I get some big, big swags for Lisa? Thank you so much. That's very, very kind. You had to stay awake for uh, an appointment, so got to catch a stream. Such fun. Thanks for sharing. Oh, thank you so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much again for that super chat. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope your appointment goes well. I know I'm like doubling the amount of carrots I have whenever I bone meal them, but I feel like I'm just replanting the same thing over and over. 
because you have to break them to get them. You know what I mean? That's the one thing that's annoying when you don't have a supply of like crops that you need. I should have prepped them like a long, long ago, but hey, here we are, you know? Here we are. Sorry, let me just catch up real, real quickly. Coraline was a scary, Coraline, okay. Yeah, that movie genuinely scares me. It came out when I was like a lot older and even then I was like, oh, this movie's kind of creepy. Definitely got big creepy vibes to it. It's just like the setting and the tone I find is like what's really disturbing. I don't know why, it's just like, it's just got a weird tone to it, but it's so good. You have an appointment to go to today as well. I hope it goes well, Reaper Kitty. I hope it goes well. Farming um, is addictive and it's satisfying. Yeah, it totally is. Totally is. Alicia, please don't share anybody's age in this chat. Uh, it's one of the rules. We try to keep it really safe in terms of internet safety and stuff. So please don't share any of that stuff in this chat. Poor redstone brain. Wait, what? What am I? What are we doing with redstone here? Ah! Am I? Am I being less efficient? Am I being less efficient here? I probably am. Let's do a Coraline movie night. I absolutely would. I would love to. I don't think I ended up watching it last year. I think it was on my list, but uh, but we didn't get to it. Harvest with fortune. I only have a fortune two um, pickaxe. I don't think it'll do anything though. Wait, let me see. Let me double check. I think I need it on like the diamond hoe, right? Oh no, I need more bone meal. I mean, if it works, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll definitely do it. Halloween and uh, movies are scary and all, but the Hunchback of Notre Dame scared me to my core as a child and still does. Okay, there's like some movies that were made back then that are like so disturbing. Um, What's one that really scared me? It was called Little Nemo. It's not Finding Nemo, it's Little Nemo. And that movie like really scared me when I was younger. That and there's another one called Once Upon a Forest. It was like a straight to VHS movie. It really scared me. Really, really scared me. Uh, Where are we? Here we are. Let's see if I can fortune any of this. I don't think so. Not with the, I don't think with the pick, Pickaxe, you can. Is that more? Let's see. Why armor doesn't show when you're literally wearing it? I'm using an invisible armor pack for so you could see my skin. So it's a resource pack. So that gives me two. I don't think it gives me any more because it's a pickaxe. No, I don't think so. That's all right. Unless I'm seeing it wrong. Wait a second. Let me try one more time. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe it is. Oh, it might actually be. Oh. Okay, okay. All right, that's working. I used to play the NES Little Nemo video game. It was creepy. They had a an NES video game of it. I played I once played the Home Alone NES video game and it was actually kind of weird. There was like one point where a broom would chase you, but like the broom literally like one hit with the broom and you were dead. <laughs> like it was absurd how hard it was. It was so funny. I remember just getting frustrated and giving giving up. A lot of the old NES games were like really difficult. And I think like in a way where like it wasn't intentional and it just wasn't fun. I found the Super Nintendo definitely like, they were hard, but like it wasn't due to like the game just being kind of broken. It was just like, they were genuinely a challenge, but Nintendo, like the old school Nintendo definitely it felt like it was, some of it was just like 
poorly optimized games. Did you ever see the witches where they have wigs on, purple eyes, and no toes, and they have square shoes? Oh my gosh, I think that's a movie that Big Tiny Duck has told me about. I'm pretty sure. She, I'm pretty sure she's the one that's mentioned it to me where she was like, no, it's like literally one of the scariest films ever. I have seen that name thrown around, but I never, I've never watched it myself. I feel like I need to though. It's one of those like movies from the 90s that are just like far more scary than they should be. <laughs> and a little bit traumatizing. You love that movie? There was an entire black market for Nemo back in 2002. Wait, what type of like black market, huh? Okay, do you remember like the weird, there was like a weird goopy like boss. It was kind of similar to Fern Gully. It was like the thing that was like hidden behind the door. That's what scared me a bunch. Ernest Scared Stupid was another kids movie that was actually traumatizing. Oh my gosh, yes. I have not been able to find that movie anywhere. I would love, love, love to give that a rewatch, but I can't find it anywhere. That movie was genuinely really scary. I remember something about there being like Brussels sprouts growing from trees and they had like slime all over them, but it was like really nasty. And then the troll dudes were really scary. Oh, great movie. Mustafa, what's going on? Welcome on in, how you doing? I think it can only be the tool that has the same uh, name as the lady of the night <laughs> to give my lots, to give uh, extra crops, <laughs> Johnny. I love how you're skirting around saying that word because <laughs> Chat, oh, chat removed it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh gosh, so funny. That's all right. We actually got quite a few just from doing this. Honestly, we have all morning to do this anyway. It's all good. I wish you could just like bone meal it and it would like spread across the entire crop field. Kind of like when you bone meal grass, but hey, that's all right. We got this, we got this. We have lots of time. We have lots and lots of time. Is it become a regular thing that I eat sushi when Drift is streaming? I love that. What kind of sushi are you eating? Oh, we actually had some this weekend. It was supermarket sushi, but it was still very good. We were kind of craving like the other night a really random dinner when we had gotten back from the mall because we were so tired. So we just went to the grocery store and like picked up a bunch of random stuff and sushi was one of them. It was very good. Uh, just gonna boom, boom, boom. Anyone ever play Goof Troop on the SNES? I have not played Goof Troop on SNES. I don't think I have. I would love to go back and revisit some of the SNES games though. I remember like Donkey Kong 2 was probably my favorite game. I beat that game so many times. So fun and also scary. That game kind of scared me too. Have you ever watched Stephen King's The Stand? No, I haven't. I don't think I've seen like too, too many Stephen King movies. Carrie is one of them though, right? We watched that one a couple Halloweens ago and it was very disturbing, I would say. If you want trolling, you need to watch the Animals of Farthing Wood children's cartoon was, uh, it was insane. I have not heard of that one either. Is it like a, like an early 90s one? Cause I'm telling you, all of the movies from the 90s were like extra scary. There was something about like the animation and stuff. They fully went for it. They were like, we're not holding back. These are gonna be scary movies. <laughs> like even Bambi was scary. I think I watched it once, cried, and then never watched it again. Land Before Time I watched a couple times and scared me. <laughs> uh, what else? Dumbo scared me. I don't think there wasn't any movie from like the 90s that didn't scare me. And I'm sure a lot of a lot of people feel the same way. What was the first ever game you played but didn't like at all? Ooh, oh, that's a good question. Oh, I'm trying to think. Cause I know like when I was younger, there was like a bunch of games that I really wanted growing up or like I really wanted, but like I finally got them and was so disappointed. Oh man, 
I'm trying to think of what some of them were. I feel like there was one that was, oh, I know which one. This is really, really random, but I used to be like a huge fan of Roller Coaster Tycoon growing up, like really, really big fan of that game. And then I saw one that came out and it was called like, I think it was called Sims Theme Park. It was basically the same thing. And I remember we ordered it through like a book order back when I was a kid and it finally came in and I was so excited to boot it up and I just hated it. It was like, I thought it was gonna be similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon and just like another game to enjoy, but it was not, it was really bad. And I remember being so disappointed by it. Like nothing worked the way it should have. It was like kind of glitchy. It was just overall very disappointing. <laughs> I think that's one of the ones that kind of got me, for sure. Oh, and also another one was uh, Fable. Uh, F not Fable 2, I think Fable 2 I was like really obsessed with. And then they announced Fable 3, I think it was. It did not live up to the height and I was so upset by it. So upset. Joshua, thank you so much for the five. Chat, you know what to do. Big, big, big swags. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Finally caught alive. Your streams keep me company while I'm uh, delivering my route. Oh, heck yeah. So glad to hear it. So glad to hear you could finally make this uh, live as well. I hope you're having a great Monday. And thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And chat, don't forget if, uh, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that like button because it definitely, definitely helps the streams out like immensely. And I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's plant. We're pretty much there with the potatoes, actually. Look at that. We're getting there. I think the more I look at this, the more I'm like, that needs to be fixed. But that's okay. We have... That's what today is for. We're here to, like, really fix up this farmland and stuff. Very excited. Roller Coaster Tycoon was my favorite all time. Yo, Roller Coaster Tycoon was such a fantastic game. I still have it on Steam. Um... And honestly, every once in a while, I go back to revisit it. It's a it's a great game. Like, it's still just as fun as it used to be for me, honestly. Fable gives me deja vu for some reason. Yeah, it's one of those like oldie. I feel like it's one of those games that's like kind of like a fever dream. You know, I went I went back to play it recently because it was on like Xbox Game Pass. And I was like, holy, this is like a time capsule. I feel like it like sent me back in time to when I first played it. Donkey Kong was prime. Donkey Kong on Super Nintendo was amazing. So good. Gonna go to the park uh, with my friends. Uh, goodbye, my comeback later. No worries, Fatima. I hope you have a wonderful time at the park. And thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Make sure you're hydrated and stretch your legs. Thank you so much for the reminder, Azzy. And chat, definitely make sure you are all hydrated and stuff. Grab a snack if you need to. We're going to be here for quite a while. we got a lot of farmland to do, so we're just vibing today, honestly. Gonna go, I'm going to watch the Mario Brothers on Wednesday at your school? Oh, heck yeah. That sounds very exciting. You have 58 stars on uh, Super Mario 64. <gasps> I haven't played that game in so long. Yo, that's a lot of stars. I don't know how far I ever got in that game. You know what? I do have a copy of it on switch i got like the all-stars thingamajig when they released it and it also comes with uh super mario sunshine which i never played until i was in college and i was like this game rocks it is so fun i never had a gamecube growing up though roller coaster tycoon was amazing but lost my progress uh on your phone as a kid wait they have a version on your phone too <gasps> i didn't know that yeah that, that game is like beyond incredible it is so fun i could sink so many hours into it you love all the old naruto games on the playstation Ooh, i never tried those ones playstation 2 had a lot of really good games that's when i really got into uh spooky games was the PlayStation 2. I remember the first time I like bought Silent Hill. I think it was Silent Hill 3 was the first one I ever bought and I loved it. Scared me so much. And like there were days where like I would scream and have to turn the TV off because I was so scared. But uh, it was super, super fun. 
Hi, Drift New Fan. Just subscribed to your channel a few months. I'm happy that I uh, got, got to watch one of your live streams. Do enjoy uh, your time with the stream. Oh, Leah, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for popping into the stream. Really appreciate it. I always dodged those fire things that came uh, from the trash can in Donkey Kong. Wait, which which level was that? Is that like the first Donkey Kong, Sev? I remember the second Donkey Kong had, um, it was those barrels that you had to fly through. There was like a weird, like thorny vine uh, levels where you were like in barrels. And if you hit one of them, you like basically automatically died. Those ones were the hardest. Oh, good times. Remember using cheat codes? I remember using cheat codes all the time for uh, Grand Theft Auto. I use, I remember discovering that you go on like game, gamefaq.com, gamefacts or whatever, and you would like print out like a bunch of cheat codes <laughs> to use. I remember I would do that all the time. So fun. That's how you lost your progress. You got a new phone and didn't transfer. Oh, that is the worst. It, whenever that happens, it just makes me want to stop altogether. I think I need a little bit more bone meal. Pretty much done this patch though. That's wild. I wonder if... Actually, maybe right here is where we start the beet root. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna rip this up quickly. That's okay. It's all good having some extra potatoes. Then we could like go like this. And then we could do beetroot like along here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go sleep. Oh, the Donkey Kong on Game Boy. I don't think I played the Donkey Kong on Game Boy. There's so many of them. So many. I used to play Mario 64, but I have no clue how far I actually got. Wanna play it again? I love uh, in Odyssey when they used the 64 graphics. <gasps> I forgot that they did that. Odyssey did like a lot of really cool things um, with like changing like perspectives and platforms and stuff. It was really cool. I actually really enjoyed Super Mario Odyssey. I, I heard it got like some flack, like a lot of people didn't really enjoy it, but I thought overall, like it was like kind of a fun ride, you know? I was literally typing how I cheat in GTA when you said it. Oh, so good. Yeah, that was like pretty much the one game where I would always use cheat codes. You would get cheat codes from magazines. I love that. I remember when I was younger, there used to be like um, Nintendo Power. I think I would get those every once in a while. It's so funny, like the access to information when we were like a lot younger was like so much harder. You would have to wait literally to find something in a magazine or like your friend would tell you rather than now you could just get like all of the access to information you need like right away. So funny. Janie, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. All right, this one's gonna take a while. That's okay. Malik, welcome on in. How you doing as well? Printing cheat codes in the school library, then going home to find out half of them don't work. That's nostalgia. Oh, absolutely. So funny. The amount of disappointment when like, <laughs> you're like, I can get all of this free money in this game. Turns out you can't, except for the Sims. The Sims ones always worked. Those ones were great. I still remember them. It was like Motherload and Rosebud. Those were the ones I always used. Playing a game while watching stream? Heck yeah. What you playing? Sonic I used to play at my cousin's house because they had a Sega. I never had one growing up, but I loved that game. I thought it was so cool. I remember we would go to their house and literally just beg to play it. And they were like, mm, we're so sick of it because like that's all we have. And I was like, no, I want to play Sonic. It was like a treat, you know? Did you know you can make red dye out of beetroots? Okay, I always forget that you can make, basically make like dye out of beetroot and stuff and all of the flowers. Listen, I I always forget that stuff. I think it's Brooke who always teaches me 
Because I'm always struggling to make something, and then Brooks always, always like literally just use this flower, and I'm like, huh? You can do that? <laughs> Brooke knows everything about the flowers and always teaches me. It's so funny. Hold on, chat. I need to take off my sweater. I am very hot right now. Oh my gosh, Seb, Brooke told you too. That's so funny. Just need to take a sip of water. Wait, you can have flying cars in San Andreas? What? I didn't realize that. That's so funny. San Andreas was really fun too. I loved that one. You played Super Mario Odyssey? Yeah, that game, that game is great. You're at work right now, uh, but I'm off super soon. Glad I'm getting any catches. Welcome on in, Christopher. I hope uh, work has gone well for you. Glad to hear that you're almost done, though. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Big Tiny Duck has played quite a bit of that, and I watch her. It's a very cozy game. Like, it's very enjoyable just to watch, honestly. I, I always make her, whenever she plays, though, I always make her cook with Ratatouille. I'm like, go cook with the rat. And she's like, oh my god, literally, like, we've done this 40 times already and i'm like do it again it's fun i want to see what you can make and she's like oh god <laughs> can't i just play this game in peace and i'm like no cook with the rat doing a little bit of crochet while enjoying the stream hope you're uh hope you're doing well too i'm doing great i had a pretty restful weekend and just vibing today i was super excited to get on here and vibe with you guys honestly we we're just working on some farmland. I've gotten quite a bit done so far, actually. <clears throat> just this part that's taking a while because of the uh, the lack of fortune and also the lack of seeds that I have to begin with. But we filled out quite a bit already, actually. Oh, this is grown in. Oh my gosh, yes, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, I think this part would benefit immensely if we get like a huge chunk placed right here and then like flatten some of this out a little bit more. But this is starting to look really good. Nice. I love that. Heck yeah. Cool. Ah! I always try my best to get in here without breaking any of the crops, but it's like impossible at this point. I grinded for months uh, to get enough money to buy the DeLorean flying car in GTA Online. I'm obsessed with that. I didn't even know that was an option in online. I never really played GTA Online much. But to be fair, I only watched people play a bit. You still vividly remember getting the Wii? Oh my gosh, I never had a Wii. I think I went, I think that's about the time where like I went Xbox 360 and it was definitely one of those things where it was like, choose one or the other. And I remember I was like, I really want the Xbox so I could play Gears of War with my friend. And that's the choice I made. So I'd have to go play the Wii at my friend's house. And oh my gosh, I really loved Wii Sports though. That exists now again, right? For the Switch? I'm pretty sure it does. I would love to get it again. It's so fun. I just want to bowl. That's all I want to do. You know, I just want to do some bowling. Ratatouille was uh, one of my favorite movies in the game. Oh my gosh, there was a Ratatouille game, huh? Could you just cook? Cause I love cooking games, honestly. Couldn't get too many games for the Wii, but uh, did have that Space Mario game. Oh my gosh, okay, my sister had that, I think. What was it called again? Oh, I forget, what was, what was the space game called? Super Mario Galaxy, was that it? Chloe, what's going on? Farmland's looking so pretty. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well today. All right, let's get all this stuff. 
There we go. We're getting there, we're getting there. There's a lot of like green happening in this area because there's so many potatoes and stuff. I think that's okay though. I think so. I can do a big old patch of like a uh, wheat along here too. And eventually I, I want to like kind of like build a path going into here as well for like a little fishing fishing hut. GTA 6. I thought GTA 6 was going to be released relatively soon, right? From what I've seen. I'm not too sure though. I, th I saw them starting to like promote it and stuff. Have we brought up Spyro games yet? The amount of times I played those as a kid? We have not actually. I know a lot of people are big fans of Spyro though. I never played that either because like it's funny, I kind of like bopped around um, consoles. So like during the PlayStation era, era, I had the N64. Then I went PlayStation 2. So I was kind of like all over the place, I find. And then I missed out on some of the classics. I did eventually get to play Jack and Daxter though, which were phenomenal. And I heard those were like in some ways similar to Spyro or was it Ratchet and Clank? Were those more similar? I don't remember, but um, those ones were really fun. Insane, thank you so much for the 10. Can I get some big, big swags in chat? Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. As a first time streamer uh, to the streams, I love the vibe and the chat and I will definitely come here and vibe more. I'm gonna go eat some food and do stuff before I go to the dentist. You guys are cool. Oh, thank you so much. Big, big swags. And thank you so, so much again. I really appreciate that. I hope your dentist appointment goes well. And chat, I gotta say it every time. It, it's so true. You guys are all so, so lovely. So chill. I always look forward to hanging with you all. I feel like the chats that we have are just like so much fun. <laughs> we always just like end up vibing and talking about like the most random stuff, but like in the best way possible. And I love it. It's always like so nice to come back from the weekend and just like catch up with you guys and like see what's going on and just chat about like really random stuff. Love it. I feel like everyone in chat uh, here, we can all be good friends because of Drift. Aw, that makes me so happy. You all are just like so, so lovely. It's always such a good vibe. Always such a good vibe. Chat, you're the one that makes it that way though. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Drift bringing in all the cool kids together. Nah, nah. You guys, you guys. You're all the sweetest. You played a lot of Kirby's Epic Yarn uh, on the Wii when it came out. I always wanted to play a Kirby game. Never got into those either. So much stuff that I've missed, honestly. It's like one of those things where I want to do a big catch up on games that I've never played. I have so many Steam games too that I've never played. Just so many games, it's endless. Yeah, here I am, always playing the Minecraft. <laughs> always. It's great to hear about the Switch game uh, and bowling. Okay, did somebody confirm that there's the bowling game on Switch? Because I will absolutely play it. I will absolutely buy it if that's true. Wii bowling was like the most fun thing in the world. Listen, they brought back like a lot of the OG Mario parties. I bought that um, version of Mario Party not too long ago. I think it was the All-Stars and it was so fun. Because a lot of the N64 ones, I used to play those a lot at my friends. So good. Such a fun time. Do you ever play the Odd World games? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever played Odd World. All right, we need to. I think the first thing to do to fix this spot is to kind of just like make this area a little bit bigger so then we can expand on these sections a little bit more. I think that's kind of the vibe. There's kind of like a natural line right here that we can start with. Cooking Mama. I don't think I ever played Cooking Mama either. 
I love pretty much any cooking game though. I don't know why, they're always so satisfying. Like Cook Serve Delicious, love that game. The food on it always looks so incredible too. Me and Big Tiny Duck play a lot of Overcooked. We love playing that together. Weirdly enough, we're actually pretty good at it. You like, I've heard that game can be pretty dicey playing with your like significant other because you can end up just like completely fighting. But we're actually like really good at communicating stuff. Surprisingly, it's very funny. Kirby sucks like all the time. It's his thing. <laughs> but um, got him, Jag. Got him. So true. It's on Switch Sports for the Switch. Okay, I need to get this then. I need to get this. I also heard that the Switch like ring fit is very fun as well. I always wanted to give that a shot, but I'd have to go out and buy the ring. Switch Sports, I can just like pretty much buy and play instantly with the controllers, right? <laughs> Abigail, what's going on? It's so nice to see ya. How you doing? There we go. I need to be conscious of like leaving some little like water spots. Cause we're gonna need them later. There we go. Thoughts on Terraria? I actually have only played Terraria once and I my thought is that I didn't give it a fair shot because like I know a lot of people in the Minecraft community also play a lot of it. I think like I was a little bit by the time I had started playing it I was like really into playing Minecraft and I was like oh I don't know if I like like the 2D animation of it but I think I need to give it another fair shot and especially if I played with some friends I think I'd enjoy it more. Cause like, I know it's like a certified good game. Like so many people talk about it and it's got like a very good community similar to the way that like Minecraft does. So I think my, my consensus is I need to give it another shot for sure. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I think if we expand that out a little bit more and then just start doing the same thing around here. We'll be in a better position. We don't really need that sugar cane anymore either. Not too worried about breaking all of that up because we have that farm. Little Big Planet is another one that I never got to play. Because did Little Big Planet come out on, it was PS3, right? And then that's when I switched back over to Xbox? Yes. Switch back over to Xbox so that I missed Little Big Planet. I know Big Tiny Duck said, she's like, that game is phenomenal. She's like, dude, you would have loved it. I would like to get a PS5 eventually. It's just like, they were so hard to get months back. We ended up getting like an Xbox Lite. Just like the smaller one, because I couldn't even get an Xbox One. I was like, I ain't even going to try anymore. So we ended up getting the small little guy, which I've really liked. It's nice and compact. We can easily move it like upstairs and downstairs. But now that PS5s are a little bit easier to obtain, I think I'd like to get one eventually. Eventually, though. My significant other's not much of a gamer, but I recently introduced them to Minecraft and set them up with a bunch of stuff, totem included, and they popped it in the first two minutes to a zombie. Literally, honestly, that sounds like my first time playing Minecraft. It's scary. I remember like being so intimidated by it, especially because there's like so much to learn. Sounds exactly like me. That's so funny. I found that Minecraft had a little bit of a steep learning curve for me, for sure. I was like a little bit overwhelmed and like lost when I first started playing. I was like, what do I even do? And my friend was like, whatever you want. And I was like, what do you mean, whatever you want, though? That's that's too much pressure. 
And now I'm like, oh, I can do whatever I want. This is awesome. They added golf to it and it's super cool. Okay, I'm down for any golf game. We did get Mario Golf, which is like different than obviously the sports version because you're just playing it with a controller, but it is so fun. So fun. I highly recommend it if you're into golf games. Terraria is my all-time favorite game. Sorry, Minecraft, but it's true. Aw. Yeah, I've heard that like they've had they have um very, very big similarities. I would love to try it out again. I do have a copy of it on Steam. And you know what? It does I've seen people play it before. It does look fun. It was just something that like I felt like I couldn't sink into, but I, I have faith that I could if I gave it another shot. Add a little bit more here. Get rid of this cliff edge. Boom. Okay, let's see. What's this looking like? Oh, that is so much better. Look at that. That's way, way more smooth. Okay, okay. I should have done that to begin with, but hey. That is looking phenomenal. We love to see it. We love to see it, chat. I think that's pretty much all it really needs. I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, as long as there's no like super steep cliff edges, I don't mind if some of the plat, like the plateaus are like kind of thin. That's okay. We just needed uh, steeper to get rid of the steep cliff edges. That's awesome. Okay, that worked. Terraria is hard when you don't know the progression of the game. I struggle with figuring out what to do next when I'm not playing with friends. I think that was my problem because like I would like build stuff. I'd go caving and then it was kind of one of those things like Minecraft where it was like, okay, well, what next? What am I doing? <laughs> and then like I got kind of frustrated and just gave up. I think you're so right about that, though. Minecraft is very similar where it's like it's almost better if you have a friend to play with who will like be able to guide you for a bit and be like okay this is what comes next because like honestly there i think somebody in chat a while back was like i literally lived under a stronghold and didn't even know what it was like i just thought it was a cool dungeon and it's true because like minecraft doesn't really guide you to that stuff you don't know unless you really research it and i feel like terraria has kind of got that same vibe for sure. Minecraft took uh, lots of inspo from Terraria though, and it's so cool. I didn't realize that Terraria came out before Minecraft. That's really interesting, actually. Sophia, welcome on in. Rough week ahead. I'm so happy I could catch the stream. Oh, so thank you so much for popping in. So happy you could be here. Um, I hope, despite the week being rough, I hope it all goes well and you get through it for sure. So nice to see you, though. I used to play computer games, uh, Thief and Sim Safari. I'm old. Sim Safari, I never played, but I played, like, the roller coaster, or no, Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon. I feel like it's similar vibes. Thief, the game sounds very familiar. I remember that name, but I don't think I ever played it, though. You want to get Dredge? It feels fitting for the spooky season. Dredge is another game I don't think I've played. I would like to play some scary games uh, this October, though, for sure. Maybe stream some of them, too. I'm trying to think of what would be a really... Actually, we've done, like, a lot of Faz. Faz is one that, like, I always get some friends together to play with. Um, what else would there be? So many scary games. One game that I haven't played in years, which I really loved, though, was the Alien game. I don't know if any of you have played that one. So good. Really scared me, though, honestly. All right, this is looking a lot better, chat. So much better.
I always show you how to play Terraria on, on uh, stream. I have over 1,200 hours. Oh my gosh. I would love to like try a game like that on stream. Honestly, I would be so down, so down. Catch y'all later, heading back into town. Nice to see y'all. We'll see you later, Charlie. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope uh, going into town goes well. All right, how's this looking? How is this looking? Yes. Yes, except, okay, now that I've got all of these potatoes in place, <laughs> I think my one critical mistake is that I need something like, a, like with some more color here. There's a lot of green going on. I almost feel like we've got to do... Hmm. Maybe some wheat or something right in this pocket. Honestly, now that we... That'll give us a good supply of potatoes because we're going to have to build other fields up like somewhere else. So I don't really mind like tearing stuff down and then replanting it somewhere. Totally cool with that. Farming is always such a big project in Minecraft and I feel like... Sometimes, like, you don't know until you plant it, too. So it's all good. It is all good. We have tons of time to fix this up, though, so I'm not too worried. Builder, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Alien Isolation is probably the only game with a real-world uh, body count. That game was crazy scary in places. No, literally. I remember, like, actually being so frightened in that game. To the point where I was like, I don't know if I ever want to play this again. But it's been like years since I played it. So now I'm like, eh, I could go back. I think I could go back. Yo, MZAM, what's going on? So nice to see ya. Ooh, pumpkins. <gasps> a pumpkin field would be really nice. Ooh, okay, 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 yes. I think a little pumpkin field would be perfect. Let's do that instead. Let's do that. Maybe pumpkins, how about pumpkins and sunflowers kind of like mixed together? That's a good one, Lauren. Scarecrows to break up the sea of vegetables, definitely. So I'm gonna be adding in some like scarecrows and rock piles and stuff. Probably a little bit later. I think I might be doing that like in the video. Um, scarecrows, rock piles. Whoops, did not mean to do that. That was bizarre. And probably some like little um, like trees and stuff for sure. It is wild how much this area has already transformed. So cool. Yeah, I've got enough seeds. Excellent. What about roses? Yes, definitely. So roses, I feel like we've got flowers here. I'm picturing roses maybe somewhere along here. Definitely, for sure. Can't forget those. Pumpkins in here. Break up some of the green. And then maybe, mm, beetroot looks good along here, but maybe something else, like we can cut it a little bit. Trying to think of some other things that we could have. We have melons as well. Melons could be cool somewhere. Uh, let me just catch up real quickly. There we go. Calvin, what's going on? It's so nice to see you. How you doing? Hope not late. No worries. No worries. We're going to be hanging out for a while today. We are just like literally just chilling and planting some crops and stuff. It's been a good time. Got to go get some work done. But if uh, you ever need a buddy to play Terraria, let me know. I'm totally game. No worries, Chloe. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I hope you have a great time catching up on uh, all your work and stuff like that. And absolutely, absolutely. Lunch lady. I don't think I've ever heard of lunch lady, to be honest. Yes, Scarecrows. Yeah, we definitely got to do that. Bad boy, what's going on? So nice to see you. 
Tulips like Holland and the windmills. Honestly, you know what? We are in a flower forest, so we do have easy access to all that stuff. I was wondering though, if you are in a flower forest, if you bone meal it, do, do you get like all of the special flowers? I don't really know. Let's see. Torch flowers and uh, pitcher plants. <gasps> That's a really good idea too. I forgot that we have, um, I forgot that we have sniffers. Okay, so if I bone meal here, I actually do get like pretty much any type of flower I want. That is dope. That's dope. Okay, perfect. Tulips at the base of the windmill. Yes, that's a great idea. We'll definitely do tulips for the base of the windmills and then roses like somewhere towards the left side. And then let's get, um, I must have sunflowers somewhere, right? Have I not found a single one here yet? <gasps> really? Oh no. No way, really? Chat. I don't think I have sunflowers yet. You might have to go find some. That's wild to me. That is absolutely wild. Wait, let me see if I have pumpkin seeds at least. What the? Hmm. I don't even really have pumpkin seeds, but we do have pumpkins. That's fine. I found like a ton of pumpkins uh, the other day. I did put them somewhere. I don't remember where though. In a flower forest, you get more choices. Nice. I love that. That makes me so happy. I'm so glad that I chose the flower forest, honestly. Bad. Welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Okay, we have five pumpkins. I thought we had way more than that. Way more. Adventure time. I'm thinking let's, yeah, let's adventure out a bit, maybe. The pitcher plant is also a really good idea too. So, okay, let's, let's take a little look-see. I'm thinking since we got giant wheat fields here, that, that covers the wheat thing. And then over here, carrots are fine, I think. And I think somewhere in here we need to fix this. This is a little bit of an issue. Also for the carrot field, I might want to expand it a little bit more similar to what we did with the, um, the wheat, just so we have a little bit more spread. That or maybe the pumpkins would look good there. I think maybe the pumpkins might look good here. What do you think, chat? Either pumpkins all up in here with sunflowers or here. What, like, which one do you think would look better? Sunflowers are my favorite flowers, so it's very obvious that I stole them. Sev, I knew it. You came into my stream world and you took them for yourself. I knew it. Sunflowers really are, uh, beautiful. Am I in castaways? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. This, uh, today we're working on our chill survival world, though. To the right? He meant the right, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe to the right then. This we could kind of fix up. All right. So that's, let me, um, fix this up a little bit. Where are we at? Right around here. Let me stop the replay and then I'll restart it again. So this is the area that we're ripping up. So we're gonna have to go on a little bit of an adventure to find some sunflowers, chat. That is our next mission after I rip up all of these potatoes that we just planted. Classic me. My Minecraft skin looks different. Yeah, so I try to make, um, have a different skin for each series, just for like little vibes. So right now we're in our cottage core, uh, series so i've got my little my little cozy sweater and cardigan on and my little shorts so it's a little bit different from castaways just to keep with like different themes and stuff and make it a little interesting i have to sleep in a second come 
Leo, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? It's nice to see you. This is coming along nicely, though. I'm very much digging this. Yeah, there'll be a vibe for sure. I think that's the way to go. Definitely the way to go. I can't believe we've been live for like over an hour and a half now. That's wild. Legend has it that Drift always wears socks in the Crocs no matter what skin she wears. It's true. I'm I'm wearing some boots right now, but underneath these boots are actually Crocs. And underneath those Crocs are actually some socks. That's That's just how I roll, baby. That's just how I roll. All right, let's get rid of all of this too. I'm wondering if I should leave like this little plateau here. This is probably gonna end up getting ripped up into something else though, down the, down the road when we do like the little fishing hunt. All of my potatoes, oh no, my inventory's full. Uh, what do I need less of? The sugar cane. I don't need one. Oh my gosh, so many potatoes. I'm definitely keeping them though, because I don't want to... I don't want to lose them and then have to use them again. Let's see. Would that be good? Yeah, I think that would be good. Right around here. Do I go ahead? I feel like I want to make pumpkin seeds. No, my pumpkins. I feel like I want to make pumpkin seeds. Um, Because then you get like the cool little vines attached to them rather than just placing them. Let me just get rid, rid of some of these potatoes, though. Potatoes can just go in here. There we go. We'll see you later, bad boy. I hope you have a good day. Ah, yeah, that's going to make a lot of french fries. We're gonna get tons of them. All right, let's do... Yeah, I think it's worth it to have the vines. They'll just grow while we're gone anyway. I'm trying to like randomly place these, you know? There we go. Sunflowers. That's the biggest mystery now. It's raining and it's almost October. Pumpkin is necessary for everything. No, totally. You're so right. It's fitting the vibe, you know? It's definitely fitting the vibe. I wish Minecraft would do a cooking update in the future. Honestly, I would love some more food options, whether it be like crops or like being able to make a couple little more items, like food items and stuff. I would love that. All right, do we have enough food? Three is not nearly enough. We need to go feed our cows. I need to collect some food and then we need to go on a little adventure to find some sunflowers. I think we're getting there though, chat. I think we're getting there. Yeah, that's pretty. Even in the rain, even in the rain. Once this grows in, I think it won't, like these carrots won't look as like green you know what i mean it just feels like there's a lot of green here right now but i think once we fix it up we'll um we'll be good feels silly to have so many veggies and no real use for them yeah i agree honestly like the most you get out of some of them is just like a baked potato a lot of people tend to make those to eat with i honestly just eat steak i find the saturation is better so like planting vegetables and stuff for me is like almost pointless <laughs> which kind of sucks i wish there was more of a point to them i think there's a field of uh sunflowers in minecraft yes there are like special sunflower fields there are a couple of planes nearby us i think we have a chance of finding some honestly i think if we go search we'll have some luck i probably just never bothered like picking them up because i've probably seen them and been like eh I probably have those at home, which I don't. <laughs> there we go. Pick up that. And I think we're good. Whoop. He almost got out, buddy. Not today. 
Spotty, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? I wish for Minecraft cooking updates so bad. Same. Playing with Farmer's Delight on um, Castaways has, like, I've only done a little bit, even like cooking steak in a pan. And I did some in better Minecraft. I made a bacon sandwich and it was so cool. I loved it. I'm going to be exploring more of that in Castaways, but I wish that was like a vanilla Minecraft thing. Really wish it was. Hello, Drift. Loving your videos and vibes so much. Oh, thank you so much, Loon. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for popping into the stream. I hope you're having a good one. We have sunflowers at home. Sunflowers at home. Actually, just 900 potatoes. Like, no, really. Literally. I'm almost like wondering if I have some around here. <laughs> Bacon sandwiches are amazing. No, for real. We've been like having this obsession with BLTs lately. I think it's because somebody in chat a couple weeks ago were like talking about eating BLTs and me and Big Tiny Duck were like, oh, that sounds good. Every Sunday now we make BLTs and it is so good. You think uh, cooking would be beneficial for the game? I think it would be too, honestly. I think I would love to see like more really specific updates for little things like that, like cooking. Um, even just like extra mobs would be nice. I would love to see some of the OG biomes get like overhauls, you know? Jillian, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. While we're waiting for this food to cook, I'm just doing a little run around here to see if I see any sunflowers. I don't so far though. What the heck? Maybe even up here? Try to join Discord, but don't know how to join. So if you click on the link, you have to go into something into the verify section and you have to hit the green check mark just to, um, just so we know you've read through the rules and stuff like that. And then you'll get access to all the channels. Okay, I don't see anything. I also put out a path here because eventually I would definitely like to make a bridge going into this section. But I don't think I'm going to do that this episode. I'll definitely be safe for like a later time. I need that right now. I'm so hungry because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, but instead a BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and egg. Ooh, yeah. Adding an egg is like so good. So, so good. Yeah, I think the command works now. Heck yeah. All right, give me food. I need food and dishes you can place. Oh my gosh, yes. Or like more furniture too. I would love like little little bits of furniture. Like the handcrafted and chipped mods are so cool. I never thought I needed furniture in Minecraft until I played with it and I was like, nah, this is awesome. I wanna craft little plates and place my bread on it in Minecraft, same. I'm like, okay, we have like giant pots now for pottery. Let us use clay and like little bricks and stuff to make like cups and plates. That would be so cool. I would love that. Rofo, homie, how's it going? So nice to see ya. What you up to? I think I'm gonna put away some of this scaffolding too. We probably don't need it while we're gone. Uh... All right, 22 steaks should be enough. I don't think we're going super far. I just want to go far enough to find sunflowers. Cannot believe I haven't seen any here yet. Honestly, it's really weird. Handcrafted is the best of the best. Obsessed with your with the chairs. Same. I think handcrafted and chipped has to be one of my favorite on Castaways. For real. You smell egg? Oh, wait. It's bald rofo. Oh my gosh, I almost fell reading that. <laughs> Sev. Poor Rofo. As soon as, he as soon as he comes into chat, we just flame him. I'm about to play Bald Man's Gate, so I'm just vibing. Yo, have you played it at all yet? Or is this just your, like your first run through? I've heard so many good things about it. Also, chat, just another reminder. I'm going to remind you all couple times if you are enjoying the stream definitely definitely smash that like button really really helps out the streams on youtube it totally helps 
And in case some of you um didn't catch the beginning of the stream, so this is basically the first stream that we're doing. We're like back on, we're back on Mondays on YouTube. So we're doing every every Monday. We're gonna have a stream now, and I'm very very excited about it. This is the first one that we're doing in a while, and yeah. So this is gonna be more of a regular thing here. So keep your eye out every week for a stream on YouTube. We're back, baby, and I'm very very excited. Sunflowers, bruh. Why are these just like regular planes? What is this? Maybe I shouldn't have killed the wandering trader. He probably has some. <laughs> First time ever with a moron. Are you playing? Are you playing with Blockdown? Are you playing with Blockdown? I heard it's a really fun game. Sev, that is the most terrifying image in the world. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. Says for you that the Discord link has expired. Really? What the heck? Maybe that one has expired now. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it is. My bad. <laughs> I don't know why that one expired. What the heck? I'm going to have to generate a new link. Hold on a second. Give me one second, chat. Uh... So weird. It shouldn't have expired. Unless generating a new one kind of wrecks that. Try that one though. Lurkin, bye. Love you. Love you too. Have fun. Have fun. Let me know how it goes. All right. Sunflowers. I am like, are we going to have any luck with this? Honestly. I haven't explored too much this way. TBH. So let's give this a shot. This is one of those times where having an elytra would rock, honestly. <laughs> Just being able to fly really quickly to scan some land. I'm. It's something I've been contemplating now that we've gotten a little bit further into this world, if I want to do a dragon fight. At first, I was kind of expecting this to be like a very, very short term world. Um, and then just build up a tiny area. But now I'm not sure, especially since we're like kind of adding some streams and stuff to this. I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how the videos go. But like for the most part, I've been like vibing on it. So it would be handy to have something like an elytra for situations like this. I see those aren't lilacs. Those are the peonies, right? It's a lot of dark, dark forest around here. I don't know why. So this map is like very, very dark forest heavy and birch. It seems it's really bizarre. Lots and lots of birch forest. Would love to see you build via air. Honestly, it does help a lot. Like just getting overhead perspectives and stuff. Or if we need to like run out somewhere and like quickly grab something, you know, from the Minecraft convenience store, AKA the world. It's just so much easier when you have an Elytra, honestly. It really is. Like right now, this 10 second task could have been pretty, or not this 10 second, this Long task could have been over in a couple seconds. Depends, right? Jeez, so much dark forest. My gosh. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> the Minecraft convenience store. More like just the world that we're in. <sighs> Gildan, what's going on? It's so nice to see ya. How you doing? Look at my little... My little waffle. My waffle head poking out of the water. Just got here. Nice, nice. I hope you're, uh, hope you're having a lovely day so far. More birch. What the heck? What is this chat? You know what? You know where there probably is one, which 
is quite a ways away. It's probably, probably near our, uh, the cherry wood, the cherry grove. I bet you there's sunflowers around there. I don't even exactly remember where that area is, but it's pretty far out. That was the one thing about this seed that kind of sucked is that there's like, whoa, I found that um, a lot of like the 120 stuff was like really far away here. I had like a little bit of trouble getting to it. Ow! More forest, okay, okay. Should have brought a boat. I mean, I guess I could always make one, right? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a boat. Am I just leaving that forest to burn? You betcha. <laughs> that ain't my problem, man. That ain't my problem. <laughs> Why should I put that fire out? Should I be doing that? Is that a good thing to do? All right. Are we gonna have any luck over here? Please, please give me some sunflowers. It's a little bit of a plains. Yeah, if I get far enough, it'll just stop. <laughs> That'll- that'll be my damage control. I'll just run away from it further. That tree was like, hey, I have this fire in the face. Literally. Just like scraped against my face and I was like, ah! Oh, come on. There's gotta be sunflowers here. Really? Oh my gosh. Even more fires? I don't see it. I choose not to see it. This area is kind of cute though. Minus that tree on fire. This area is kind of nice, you know? The animals have mercy. They were fine. They can run away. They they know da danger when they see it. It's all good. No worries. No worries. Okay, we've got to be getting close. Look at this. Whoa! Oh, I think this is one of the cherry forests that I went to before, actually. Now that I think about it. Just seems like I traveled there very fast. All the birds and bees and small fluffy creatures losing their home to the fire. No, it's okay. It's okay. Trust me. It's not going to spread. I ran. I ran. Yeah, I'm waiting to come back to free cooked bacon. Exactly. I want my BLT, okay? I want my BLT. Sev, you're being called out right now. Called out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chat never forgets. Chat never forgets. Okay, there's got to be something here. Chat, I'm feeling it. There's a big old plains. Ah! We can't disprove the parts of the world uh, unload in real life. You can still talk to your friends who live far away on the phone because you're keeping the chunk loaded. Is this like a, a conundrum where like if a tree falls in the forest? Does it make a sound type thing? <laughs> okay, there's got to be something here. There's a donkey. We have donkeys, so that's good. Come on. Whee! I swear, this is such like a weird seed. I don't know why. It's like, it has the most dark dark forest I've ever seen in birch. Like sunflower fields? No. What are we looking for? We're looking for um sunflowers. Whoa, there's a little taiga over here. More cherry. Obsidian portal. Really tiny cherry forest, though. That's like three trees. That's so funny. No luck so far. The tree thing is easy. It just depends on what you term a sound. An engineer might argue it makes a sound. A neurologist would say it doesn't. That's true, actually. 
whether sound is like something that's like perceived or like happens no matter what i think that the sound happens no matter what of course like somebody has to be there to hear it for proof but i think it would happen no matter what you know do i smell another cherry blossom vacation home <laughs> with how far we've been going i might have to i might need to like vibe out over here and just just call it quits you know I can't believe I haven't seen another sunflower or any. Am I going to have to rely on the wandering trader for once? No, no. Have you found any flower forests? I usually find sunflower fields nearby. That's so funny. We live in a flower forest and I don't have any nearby me. Watch, I actually have some at home and I just didn't realize. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm really starting to doubt myself here. Oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm really starting to doubt myself. Hello. I'm like, do I just go back? Just like the Lily of the Valleys. No, for real, exactly. Remember when we couldn't find Lily of the Valleys for that long, like the longest time? Uh oh, I feel like I'm in trouble now. Okay. Okay. I'm like, do we just go home? Oh, do you have mini blocks set up? I feel like I should set that up for this world. That'd be really fun. Make use of the village or the wandering trader, you know? What if there's sunflowers near? Your house. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. There could be. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Do you know your home courts? Oh, yeah. Literally, I'm like, I'm at spawn. Like, it's like zero, zero, pretty much. We're good for that, for sure. I bet Drift has some flowers in her chest, but didn't see them. I am willing to bet that I either have some in my chest somewhere that I didn't see, or there are some planted at the base you'll find them you think so okay okay let's keep going this way wandering trader uh expanded on planet minecraft so cool there's sniffer egg minis among others oh that's so cute yeah, I saw there's um some from Vanilla Tweaks too that are really nice. Boop. Hold on, let me just fix something really quickly. There we go. All right, all right. Yeah, we can do a big loop around at home for sure. Absolutely. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Man, I can't believe we haven't seen any. I'm going to go like a little bit further and then we'll kind of like head home. We basically just have to go the opposite direction of where we're going now to get back. Should be pretty easy. There's one more area around here. That's not plains. That's more regular forest. I've been this route a couple times before because this is kind of like the direction of like the desert and the mesa and stuff. The one on Planet Minecraft is reworked from the Vanilla Tweaks version uh, with their permission. All the Vanilla Tweaks uh, blocks plus 200 more. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, I really like the mini blocks. We had them on Imperial and they were really fun. Just like extra fun little decorational items you can have, you know? Okay, we're at jungle territory now, which makes me feel inclined to kind of turn around. Yeah, this is the route that I take to get to this area. Let's do a little bit of a loop then. You had storage that you labeled with mini blocks once? Okay, that would be adorable. Adorable. Was that on Imperial, Sev?
There's also an Empire's version too? Okay, let's get up this way. We'll do a big old loop home. If there's some at the base, I'm gonna laugh so hard. There's actually a really big chance that there could be. I don't know why I just have this feeling that there's like at least a couple in the, like literally in the farmland we were in. There's, pr there more than likely is. Kira, what's going on? Welcome in, how you doing? First uh, stream I was able to catch live. I love this world so much. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. We are just um, doing a little bit of exploration right now. We're trying to find sunflowers, but so far we've had no luck. This is very, this is like a very mountainous uh, birch biome. I feel like you don't see that very often. Birch feels like a little bit more flat most of the time. Oh, this is old growth though. Could probably find a trail rune in here somewhere. Normally sunflowers also spawn near pumpkins as long as uh, they're together. Oh, I have had some pumpkins near me, but they've been closer to like the birch forest though. It's so bizarre. So much lilac. Tons of birch. This literally looks like I'm on large biomes right now with how much birch there is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of like the look of the birch biome, though. I think it's like kind of cute, you know? Got nice vibes. Should I do this? Okay. Wee. There we go. At least we got some Lily of the Valley out of it, though, you know? Jeez, so many fall offs. Ooh, pumpkins. Let's grab some of these because we're actually going to need to plant with them at home. So at least we're getting some other stuff out of this. It's a quick little mini adventure, you know? Wee. Oh my gosh, the game's struggling. I don't know why. Don't tell me that's home. Is it? No, I don't think so. It looks very similar to home. No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not. But it looks very, very similar. Huh. I'm always scared in Birch Forest, like something's gonna come behind the trees. It kind of does have that like weird, like magical, mysterious vibes to it. I kind of get what you're saying, Sev, where it's like you walk th through it and you're like, it's quiet. It's too quiet. You know, I totally get that. The dark oak forest scares me the most. Honestly, I like <laughs> I literally thought Brooke was like brave to build in that uh, in one of the seasons that she did for her survival series. She had like a whole birch forest base. And I was like, honestly, I'd be kind of scared in there. And she was like, it wasn't that bad. And I was like, I don't know. It's just like the vibe of the birch or um, the dark forest. That's like kind of scary. Gamer, what's going on? Welcome in. <clears throat> it's funny how like certain biomes can kind of make you feel that way, though, where you're like, I'm a little scared right now. I'm definitely a huge baby when it comes to that stuff, though. Yeah, exactly. It's super dark. Ooh, look at all this coal here. Oh my gosh. We went on a big hunt for coal the other day, though. And we got quite a bit, but it doesn't hurt to grab a little bit more, you know? Yeah, you feel like you're going to get attacked out of nowhere in those biomes, for sure. I agree. I've always kind of liked this area. 
I don't know why. It just like kind of looks cute. Oh, oh, iron. There is a little patch over there that looks like regular planes. There's some pumpkins. But I've always thought these little like, I don't know what biome it's called. Windswept hills, that's what it is. I always thought these were really cute. I think these are like perfect spots for castles, you know? Tons of pumpkins over here, oh my gosh. Lunchtime is over, gotta go teach, I'll be lurking. No worries, I hope, uh, I hope the work goes well. Thank you for hanging out and I hope you had a good lunch. Brooke made the dark oak pretty and I don't know how she didn't get a forest creeper blow up her house. Not for real. She literally nailed it with that um with that series. It was wild. Cause if I was in the dark forest, uh dark oak forest, I wouldn't know what to do. Honestly. And I'd probably always get blown up or like shot by mobs and stuff. She she did really good with it. Okay, here's a new area that we have not seen yet. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I found some. Oh, yes. We got him. We got him. Yes. Big swags, big swags. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. The, the trick of circling around worked. It worked. We were like literally on our way home and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do like a little sideways loop. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Love it, we love to see it. We love to see it. You know what, Acacia is beautiful. That's another place I never build in though, the Savannah. I've done some desert builds before. Savannah, not really, and I feel like I need to give it a shot. Yo! Beauty. Beauty. It happened. We did it. Uh, I need my bed. Can't imagine myself building uh, in the wastelands. I feel like my eyes will fall off. I would love... Are you talking about the, the Badlands, like the Mesa? Because I would love to try a build over there, but I think you really have to stick with like, it would look so cool as like a Western town or something. I think I'm just a little bit intimidated by it though. I think I'd like to try like a one-off build in there. I opened stream and then proceeded to fall asleep. I'm back now. Love to hear it. Hope you had a good uh, nap, Zion. We are. We were on the quest for sunflowers and we found the mother load. So happy. Okay, I think that should be more than enough. I think we're good here. Beauty. Beauty. We are going down in every direction, so that's good. We just need to like literally go this way and we should head home because our direction, our coordinates are like pretty much it's spawn. It's like zero, zero, pretty much. Get to catch your uh, live while I'm sick. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're not feeling well. I hope you're feeling better soon. But welcome on in. I hope uh, hope hanging out here can make you feel a little bit better and stuff. I actually don't like Savannah biomes that much. I like them. It's just like. I just never think to build in them, honestly. I think I really should kind of put in an effort to do like one-offs in those areas for sure, though. You could try a cave uh, house build in the savannah. Ooh, I like that. Maybe like in the winter months, I'll like try it. I'll go over there and do some builds or something to cheer myself up. Love the background music. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, let's, uh, boom. I'm so happy right now. Someone currently living in Savannah. I enjoy not worrying about my builds burning down. Would there not be? Oh yeah, because of the, um, like the lightning. Because you don't have thunderstorms there. 
true. It'd be hard to make a cottage core base in the Mesa. Yeah, exactly. It's very like, that's a very specific landscape, you know? Very, very specific. A terracotta mining ranch. That's so, like a little outpost. That's a really good idea. I love that. Yeah, I think it would be fun to do like a couple episodes off somewhere. Kind of like what we did um with the cherry biome, because I knew I personally didn't want to do like a giant base in that biome, because it'd just be so much for me. Like an overload for me. But um, doing like a one-off little cottage was very, very fun. What happened to all the sunflowers I planted? Drift came through. Yeah, I literally decimated that. <laughs> Listen, I had to. I had to do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know I had to do it. Where am I? This place is like a little mystery to me. I think I'm like, oh, I see, I see. Keisha, what's ugly in your opinion? Honestly, I love using it for roofing and also like unstripped. The gray can be like really nice um, in like a gradient for a build. I've really come around to it. Today's your mommy's birthday, so me and my brother got her a candle that says, life is hard, but at least your kids aren't ugly. I'm obsessed. That's incredible. Also, happy birthday to your mom. I hope you guys have a fun time celebrating. That's such a funny candle. My dad's birthday is coming up. I need to keep that in mind and uh, give him a call. Wee. If you got an elytra, it'd make it easy for Cherry Cottage Mesa access. That's so true. I think you're so right. We're like, that's definitely a build that would have to happen when, like, later down the line if we get, like, an elytra. For sure. I, I think I'm definitely kind of leaning more towards getting a, uh, doing the dragon fight. Especially now that we're doing streams on here, I think the progression of this world is going to happen a little bit faster. So it'll it'll definitely be nice to have for sure. Are the coordinates in the corner a mod? It's called better F3. So basically it you can like pick and choose what you want to take from the F3 menu and like uh color code it and also condense it to whatever you want. It's very, very handy. Wait, was that a ruin? Did I miss it? Or are you talking about the portal thingy? Going back quickly. We circling back. It's amazing. Yeah, no, it's a really, really handy mod because I have a lot of trouble reading the F3 menu. It's just like way too much information thrown at me and being able to color code. It's also like really nice, to be honest. Oh, okay. In the oh, in the woods? No way. I missed it. Oh, oh, I don't even know if I went back if I'd ever find it. How did you spot it, Johnny? I swear, I'm gonna have to like go back in the stream after and like look at what I ran past. Need zeros for this world? Yeah, the one thing about like zeros is I love having it for the stream world, but for like the purposes of YouTube, I like to keep things as like vanilla as possible. So that's my one reservation. That's all, that's been my one reservation. I suppose we could have it on stream. I wouldn't mind having it on stream, but um, go straight back. All right, let's go straight back. But for like, um, for videos and stuff, I definitely like having it off. It was a pink terracotta block in the ground. How did I not notice that? <laughs> no way. And some gravel. We have not excavated a ruin yet in this world. What would you defeat the dragon with this time? Last time it was employee number four. Ooh, I think I would have to, um, I would defeat it with Amazon order 135827-008. Absolutely. Was it in this patch, Johnny, like that I jumped off of? 
What's Zeros? It's um, it's a map that you can have like a little mini map in the corner of your screen, but also a big map. It is very, very handy. You can set waypoints uh, so you can easily like mark out like special points of interest and stuff. It's really good. Heading right at it. Okay, swag. Let's go back up. See, you're right. This is like a good moment for like, this would be a zeros moment. Basically mark the coordinate and come back to it. Now it's kind of like. Into this cove. Okay. So this is where I was. Is that the mod included in better Minecraft? Yes. Yes, it is. I remember being very, very stoked when I saw it in better Minecraft because I really liked it. Farther back from the coast? Okay. One problem is the trees. I thought they could only be in like old growth forests. Let me free cam this. For a second, I thought that baby pig was the piece of terracotta. I don't see anything. We didn't go up here. We fell from this coast right here. So it was there with gravel too? Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't know if I see it. See little piggies. I'm trying to look for the gravel. But I don't see any. Some right here. little sheepy maybe saw a pig <laughs> it's possible that's really funny if if so honestly that's really funny i would have been so so jazzed if we had one because i haven't been able to find one in this world yet actually possible that it could have been a piggy because that's the area we came from for sure maybe next time we'll get him we'll get him next time i should probably sleep shouldn't i before i head on Do, 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 do. they're so hard to find no they really are and like i've gone i've walked through like some birch forests and stuff in here and honestly there's a chance that they, there was one in there but i've probably just walked over them what graphics gar card do you use i think i have a 3080 i recently upgraded mine because mine um was really struggling a while back how do you get the free cam on MacBook? I don't know if the mod is compatible for MacBook, to be honest. I'm not sure. You'd have to check like the I think I got it on CurseForge. It's like a free cam mod. You'd have to check to see if it's compatible with Mac. All right, we going home and then once we're home, we'll take like a really quick uh, break chat. And then we'll continue on with our farmland. I'm so happy we found these sunflowers though. So good. It's gonna make the area look really nice, honestly. I walked by one, I don't know how many times it was hiding uh, in some spruce trees. Literally couldn't see it until you're um, on the, there's like a heart on the top of it. There was like a little heart on my chat thing blocking your message. Yeah, it's, they can be really tricky to see for sure. It's been over two hours. I know, right? I can't believe it. Time is flying by today. Oops. We just got to go this way now, I think. Is this my island? <gasps> it is. Hey, we're home. If there's sunflowers literally like right there, I'm going to cry. I don't think there is, but look at that. We're home chat. 
Yay! We basically just did a giant loop. That's awesome. That was the easiest trip home I've ever seen. Literally, I feel like the trip home felt like way less time than exploring. That was so funny. I feel like it looked it took literally less time to get home. Yay. So excited. Now I'm just like casually scanning the area for sunflowers. I don't see any though. I really don't think we have any. I hope. That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> oh yes, this farmland is really looking good. Very, very happy with it. So happy with it. Nice. Usually it takes a couple Minecraft days. Yeah, literally only took like one. That was wild. This is looking very fresh. All right, chat, should we take a quick little break? Um, everybody stretch your legs, go grab a snack. I will be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll continue on with our farmland. All right, all BRBs. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I just need to get a little snack and some water. 
Hazel, welcome on in. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, for anybody who wasn't here before the adventure that we went on, this is kind of the area that we're working on right now. So, we're kind of fixing up some of the farmland that I started. Um, we've got a bunch of wheat here. We're adding pumpkins and stuff to this area. And this will probably stick as potatoes for now. Uh, cause I think eventually what I want to do is like put a little path in to a fishing hut, but we'll leave that for a later episode. I did not eat ranch. I had a spoonful of peanut butter that is not ranch. <laughs> you know what? I was actually contemplating eating some ranch. I was going to get like carrots and dip some in ranch and then I was like, oh, I just don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have time. I'll do it after stream. I'm going to have, I'm probably going to have some carrots and ranch after stream for sure. Listen, I love ranch. What's wrong with that? Can't, can't a girl like ranch, you know? <clears throat> you knew it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. And then in these spots, we said tulips, right? Tulips would look really cute. All right, so if we go back down here, uh, we do have some pumpkins. I'm gonna turn more of these into seeds. I would definitely prefer it if they were, uh, if they had the stems, it always just looks better, you know? I think we could have more pumpkins than what I have now too. There we go. Boom. I feel like whenever I bone meal pumpkin stems, I can never like, there we go. I can never get the angle on them that I need. There. Some of these are working though. Others not so much. Like for some reason that just stops or it doesn't let you. It's really bizarre. I find pumpkins are really weird to bone meal. It's all right. I kind of just wanted them to like grow out so I can place the sunflowers around them. So I'm not blocking any of the spots that they could uh, potentially grow. It's kind of a pain though. Ranch is good stuff. Exactly, exactly. Get to popping while my girl is doing um, seat work. I homeschool so we have a lot of freedom. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Cloud, welcome back. They got a tiny hitbox. Okay, that's why. Oh, oh my God, I just saw it too. I literally never noticed that, see? But then once it gets to the stem, I can't really bone meal it further than that, which is kind of annoying because I'm like, I would like to see the pumpkin where it's gonna grow, where it'll fall. There we go. There's one. That is so funny. I never noticed how small the hitbox was for them. And then these ones, I can't even get anything. I feel like I gotta wait for them. The more you know. Oh, you can't bone meal the stems. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. It's just luck that some of them are like growing that way. Interesting. Oh, found the hitbox, found it. That is so funny. I never noticed how tiny they were before. <laughs> there. There we go. Maybe we can get like a couple more somewhere. This one probably shouldn't interfere. Something like that. The more pumpkins, the better. Nice, nice. Yo, coffee, what's going on? So nice to see ya, whoops. How you doing? We are working on some farmland today. So right now we're planting a bunch of pumpkins in this field 
and I think we're gonna um, fix up some of these too. I'm not sure about this being here. What would look good here? So we do have, right now it's the beetroot. I'm thinking maybe wheat just to kind of like corner it off because like we have a huge wheat field here. Then we're kind of going with like other stuff. And I think like boxing it off with some more wheat might be the answer. You know what I mean? I think that might be the vibe. Where'd you find the sunflowers? We actually found them in, um, we went off for an, like on an adventure and luckily when we turned around to go home, we found a sunflower field, like a huge one. It was awesome. Very, very lucky. Okay, so I think it's safe to place some sunflowers in these little spots. I don't really see many pumpkins gonna be uh, growing around here. We have to be mindful of those stems. But for the most part, should be good with these dudes. They're facing the way that I want them to face too, which is perfect. Awesome. Oops. Aw, oh, man. Honestly, I don't really mind if some of this is dirt, to be honest, instead of like tilled soil. Ooh, that is so cute. Look how festive that looks. So festive. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. Very nice. More wheat. Yeah. Wheat. Wheat's always like, it's always a winner, you know? It's none of the crops compare. It just adds that like really nice pop of color, especially for framing things. I think like the green like the carrots and stuff are really nice to have like little patches of green, but going too overboard, it just looks like, it just looks like grass, right? You gotta be careful with it. My dog in my hardcore world was just sliding across the floor even though I'm sat him down. Oh my gosh, was he just like glitching out of control? <laughs> oh, I love when stuff like that happens. Look at that. Dandelions. Oh, that's good too. We have some. We do have some. That's a good shout. All right, let's get some dandelions. That's a good one. What about these? I wonder. I feel like these could look really cute in a field together. We definitely have to have like tulip fields above the, uh, what's it called? The windmills for sure. I'm gonna be putting those in later, I think. Yeah, the dandelions is a really good call. It's looking very Dutch. Yes, yes, very, very Dutch. It's funny because like, um, I actually did look up like a lot of photos of sunflower fields for like the way that windmills and stuff were kind of like positioned. So I definitely took influence on that for sure. I'm kind of digging it though. I think it's cute. Definitely need a few more dandelions. Let's zoom out to see. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. The dandelions really help with that. Gives like a nice little bit of like height variance too. The windmills look so good. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. For like a little brief moment, I was like, oh, should I have switched up the roof shapes and stuff? And then I was like, I kind of want them to be like uniform, but just slightly different heights and stuff. And I'm, I'm happy I kept it that way. I like poppies and cornflowers in wheat fields. In real life, they sometimes grow together. Ooh, okay, okay. I can make, how about we add some poppies and cornflowers to the wheat field um, on the side of the river or the lake? Poppies and cornflowers. The good thing is I have a lot of flowers in this world. 
More dandelions, poppies. We actually don't have that many of, but we can grab more. You just need tulip fields. I saw those IRL. Oh my gosh, I would love to go to like Amsterdam and like the surrounding area and see all of that IRL. That would be so cool. You require our knowledge. Ah, here's some more. Perfect. Boop. Nice. I even love like the little back end of these uh, windmills too. It looks so pretty. There's so much we can do with this area. Very excited. You thought this was Castaways? No, we're not on Castaways today. Uh, I'm still working on my chill survival farmland today. So that's gonna be the next video that's coming out on the channel. Love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wonder if we should just go all the way down. I feel like it needs one more row. Do I just send it? I feel like I just send it. Potatoes, no more. <clears throat> also, if I'm doing a path eventually to a fishing hut, I really do picture, like I picture it amongst like a field of, uh, a small little field of whatchamacallit, pumpkins rather than I do potatoes, you know? You can get more flowers by putting bone meal on them. Like on the, I th on big flowers that works, I'm not sure that uh, works on small flowers though. I'm legit gonna have to get some barrels around here. What if poppies, cornflower, and daisies all together in a field or just a garden of flowers, especially sniffer flowers? Yes, so I think for that, we're gonna do... Hmm. You know what? Let me take a look of where that would be perfect. Cause we're gonna do tulips by the, um, the windmills because it's like very Dutch. So we got to do that. Let me just grab most of these potatoes. But then for all of the other stuff, hold on a second. That is a lot of potatoes. Yeah, the bees are like, Oh yeah, the bee's following me now. Tony, my friend. We have a fishing hut? Yeah, we're gonna be adding a fishing hut probably after this episode, I would say. Sometime after this episode anyway. So I kind of want to half prep the area for what we're gonna do with it. There we go. Fucked all me potatoes. Never know where we're gonna plant them next, so let's make sure we grab those. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, it was the flower. He wanted the flower. Look how many bees there are though, I'm kinda digging it. All right, potatoes secured. Now. There is a bee with Tony energy in this world in episode uh, one spinning around on your roof near the outro. Maybe it's Tony. Yeah, we have not found Tony in this world yet. That's all I got to say. Tony's around. 
but he's not here like that that's not tony that that's gotta be yeah you're right it's gotta be like a tony jr tony's lurking in the shadows right now he took an extended vacation we found ruth but we have not found tony tony pepperoni oops I got so many pumpkins when we went uh, searching for the sunflowers. It's very ideal. I want these two next to each other. Come on. There we go. Nice. Should be good. Probably a couple more around here. Chloe, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Always, always better late than never. Appreciate ya popping on in though. We are just working on some farmland today. Absolutely chilling. Farmland is always one of those projects that like takes forever, but when it's done, it's like, it makes the biggest change on a base, I swear. There we go. Yeah, we haven't seen Tony since the TNT debacle. You you can thank um thank those two shenanigans, uh Raph Scallions on Bloodlines for that one. He got scared off, man. He got scared off. He'll be back though. He always comes back. Acacia saplings and oxide daisies are key together. Ooh, that sounds like a nice combo. There we go. Searching for sunflowers sounds like a cool indie band. That sounds like a very like Midwest emo band and I'm so here for it, you know? So here for it. I didn't know you lost the seeds when you break the pumpkin stems. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's so odd. Tony Pepperoni. That's his full legal name. He's just never told anybody that before. I'm the only person who knows until now. There we go. Things are happening. Things are looking up. Okay, I gotta go sleepies. I think I like that a lot better than the potatoes because we already have the carrots. It's just so much green, you know? All right, let's go sleepies real quick. You have a flower field with cherry saplings with strings on top, poppies, and tall ferns. Oh, that's a really good idea, having like the strings on top of the saplings. I like that. I never really think to do that. My problem is I don't have, um, I don't have a spider spawner in this world. We have one in our, um, stream world. And it's actually been super helpful with doing stuff like that, like putting string on bamboo. Very, very helpful. This one, I haven't... I don't think I've come across one yet, to be honest. Oh, gosh. I hate how easy it is to trample, like, the soil here. It's so frustrating. Hi, Tony. You're back, buddy. He's just following me around. I'm his best friend today. I keep calling him Tony, but that's not Tony. We all know it's not. Let's see. 
cute. Oh yeah, that looks so much better than what we had before. I'm into it. Very much into it. And then imagine like eventually a little path carved out in between all of that is going to look amazing. There are mods. Oh, trample, trample stopper. I like that. I should definitely give those a shot because I'm so over it. Beefany. I love that name. That's hilarious. I love it. I feel like soil should be a bit tougher. Agreed. Agreed. I don't I don't get why it's like a it's a thing, you know? Yeah, that's that's Tony. That's not Tony, that's Tony. They're all Tony, but spelled differently. Yes, yes, literally. That's okay. Wow, when we build um <clears throat> when we build a greenhouse in this world, I think we all know where this is gonna go. I think we all know where this is gonna go. Okay, I need more corn flowers <clears throat> and poppies. Because I do want to add some to this area when I build the little wheat field over here. Gotta go, it was fun stopping uh, in. No worries, thank you so much for hanging out, Kira. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. The House of Tony, I'm obsessed. I love it. So good, so good. Maybe the new greenhouse could be donated in loving, loving memory by the family of Newt Y. <gasps> yes, yes, I'm obsessed. Carrying on this lore, we must, we must. Oh no, not Newton Y. Poor Newton Y. He did not deserve that. That was fully my bad when he died. Fully my bad. <clears throat> I was like hanging out underneath him the whole time in the caves. Like no wonder he got got. When I came back, I was like, how did that happen? <sighs> Bruh. The Tony frat house. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. The bees do certainly like to party, though, so it does make sense. Yeah, we've come full circle. Absolutely. I love that. Uh, steak. I need steak. <laughs> Moon, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, out of context within this game, that statement sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, it's just like kind of my bad. <laughs> just a little bit my bad. <gasps> oh my god. It's not like that, I swear. Okay, I need to make... Let me make a couple cheeky barrels. And by a couple, I just made 10. Just, just a couple cheeky barrels makes 20,000. Okay. New Tony was, a, was also a legend. Oh, absolute legend. Definitely gone too soon though. I really messed that one up. I felt so bad. Poor guy. Did not deserve it. The best part about leaving these barrels around, like these guys, guess what? They're now they're now considered decoration. You know? Easy decorations. And the best part about planting all of these crops is that, honestly, even though we're switching it up, I now have so much beetroot, it's not even funny. You know, so it did kind of help in the end. 
I think this will look better in the long run, though, having some wheat bordering right here. And we'll just have it all in these barrels. I miss Beyblade. Aw, oh, we'll see Beyblade again soon. We'll see Beyblade on Friday. You know what, though? Maybe we won't. Beyblade hasn't been making an appearance in that world. He's always been hiding. I don't know what his issue is. Potential chess monsters? Yeah. I'm not even going to deny it. <laughs> you know what? I've been, I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good with organization in this world. I'm going to have to make a storage facility soon because I'm starting to gather like too many items. But for the most part, I think we've been pretty good. <clears throat> but you're so right. There's a potential for like some ch like bad chess monsters here for sure. Okay, let's plant some wheat. And then we wanted corn flowers and poppies in this one. So I think maybe what I'll do is plant the poppies and cornflowers first. I wish I had more cornflowers. Unfortunately, I don't. <clears throat> We're kind of struggling to find some of those. Oh, this is very pretty. I really like this. Might need... Ooh. One, two. Might need a couple more poppies. I know there's some around here somewhere. Oh! Cornflowers. Nice. Oh! I was looking at chat. Classic. Good luck ever moving villagers in that area enjoy your fishermen oh my god so true literally what i need to do is like if i'm doing anything with villagers again literally i'm containing them to that area i'm not even letting them near here because otherwise i would just never get them anywhere it would be a disaster an actual disaster <laughs> do you have any tips for um detailing builds honestly i would say detailing builds like i i would say blending like your build into the landscape is probably like the biggest thing like for example um you can kind of see like how even these i'm starting to detail them but like not having anything around it makes everything look it just makes it look like a build plopped into a piece of land rather than like actually settled in and like actually settled yeah actually settled into the terrain sorry but I would say adding like leaves around to kind of ground the area. Little storage bins look really nice. Building out like lean twos is something I do very often. Um, and definitely, definitely placing like coarse dirt around builds is like a huge thing. Or like even pathing you can see around here. Even like this isn't super detailed, but at least there's like some bone mealing and some pathing to kind of like cement it into place. I find that often really helps with detailing builds. And then, of course, like adding little details. Trap doors are usually my best friend, I would say. Trap doors and campfires, I use a lot around windows and stuff. Even little things like signs and buttons to make like beams and stuff look a little bit more interesting. Definitely, definitely helps. Enjoy your fishermen, nerd. <laughs> yeah, enjoy them, nerd. Oh, God. Rename the BB Blade? Oh, man, I don't think I could ever rename Beyblade. That one's a forever one. <laughs> Drift taught me everything I know building-wise. Aw, that makes me happy. Yeah, I've, like, honestly... I've learned so much playing with like a lot of my friends too. Like there's so many techniques that we've all shared with each other. Team Coarse Dirt, I learned, and that's the one that I learned from Blockdown. Coarse Dirt is like your best friend, honestly. So, so good. Coarse Dirt, Rooted Dirt. Those ones are great. I'll try some of those tips in my world. Yeah, absolutely. I find um, just like kind of having things that will help cement your like builds rather than make it look like they're floating on top of a piece of land even a simple stuff as simple as like bone mealing can make such a difference uh oh there's so many like random pits 
around this base that I keep falling into. It's actually hilarious. No, 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 we, we are not renaming Beyblade. We never would. We never would. I love your videos. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, beetroot. You're not supposed to be here. That's old news, man. You're old news. Get out of here. All right, I think that should be good. Or at least I hope. Let's see. Yeah. That's pretty. I like that. <clears throat> Can you share your build in the Discord? Oh my gosh, absolutely. It, a lot of people use like the uh, building tips and like share their builds and stuff in the Discord. It's very, very nice to see. Boom. There we go. What I love doing when terraforming is making a cluster of coarse dirt and putting flowers on it before uh, gradienting it to grass where it's mostly grass or tall grass. Ooh, that's nice too. Yeah, doing like little subtle gradients like that can make like a huge difference too. Boom. Almost done. Yeah, I think this is gonna look a lot better as wheat. Let's see. Let's see. I wish I could just like tick speed it so it'll grow. But yeah, you can already see the difference it's gonna make. We've got our like a huge patch of yellow here. We've got our flowers. We've got all of these carrots, which I think is enough green. And then this is just going to be filled with like wheat again. My one thing, though, is I'm like. Now that we have this done. I'm trying to figure out. What I'm going to do kind of behind the fields, we have some like. Really, really nice. Um, really nice patches of land right here that I'm unsure what to do with. These could also be really nice fields. I'm probably going to end up leaving some of these trees, too. I just don't know how I'm going to... Path them out. I think tulips around these guys. I should probably, like, make this a little bit more circular. And then... Probably just, like, some wheat and stuff. Maybe I'll just divide it up a little bit like I've been doing. I think if we make all of this stuff that's basically plains grass into fields it's going to look good in the long run. And then we have like a natural stop here, which is going to be this retaining wall. I think that's pretty much it. Do you collab with um, Minecraft subscribers? No, so I mostly um, all of the SMPs I'm in are usually with uh, most of my Minecraft friends that I've made over the years. Back for a bit, what are we doing now? So we just finished up our field on this side. We finished the pumpkin field and now we're just waiting for this to grow. And I'm kind of trying to like visualize what I'm going to do next with some of this stuff. I think I'm just going to repeat the same pattern. Probably get some flower fields, like rose fields in here and stuff like that. And then it should probably be good. It's just a lot of planting, honestly. Lots and lots of planting. My brother told me about you and you're amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I love your videos. Happy to catch a stream. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, yeah. Posture check. I always got to check my posture. Oh, my gosh. So bad for that. I always go into shrimp mode, honestly. Okay, let me get some dirt. If you add a tree, if you make a field alliums, add a fallen tree trunk to make it look magical. Ooh, that's a nice idea too. That is a good idea. There's so many different types of fields 
that we can do, honestly. I think an Enderman was here, most likely. Where does the drift come from, if I may ask? Um, so basically when I was like trying to come up with a channel name, I just wanted something that sounded like very dreamy and relaxing. So I started with the name or with the word drift because I kind of just pictured like drifting or floating through clouds. And then I wanted it to be two words. So I just tried to think of something that would be like two words that would work well together and drift was the jumping off point. And then I landed upon infinite. So I kind of just like pictured like infinitely drifting. You know what I mean? And that was like kind of the idea of it pretty much. Let's see. What would look good on a, like a really cliffy edge here? Maybe some rose bushes or something. What if I did... That looks really good. I love farming. Thank you. Yeah, I love farming in this game. It's very, very time consuming, I find. But it's very, very fun. Have you seen tulip fields from the Netherlands? So that's kind of what I was researching while I was um while I was making this. I think the main idea is like towards the edge over here. Like these are going to be surrounded by tulips, I think. <clears throat> it's a great name for sure. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I was very I was very happy when I found a name that I, I was able to stick with. I find finding names is very, very difficult. Thought about it for a long time. I always, always use the anti-enderman griefing data pack from vanilla tweaks. I load them. Yeah, the griefing is starting to drive me kind of nuts, especially I find that on castaways we have a lot of um, we have a lot of issues with enderman griefing. I don't know why. It's very frustrating, though. I'm almost wondering if I should fill this pond in. I might. I thought it would be cool to have, but I'm almost wondering if like the move now is to like there's like kind of like a natural gap that we could fill right here. See what I mean? Tulips are roses. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like tulips or roses might be the vibe. Yeah, the two tall flowers are like always a good bet, you know, always. So then if I fill this in, it just gives us a little bit more area to work with, especially if I do this. Like we're still maintaining the cliff edge. However, we'll have this now. Decorate the pool with texture. Yeah, I'm so indecisive of whether I want it or not because I thought it looked really cool. But now I'm like, you know what, maybe what I should do is fill in the flowers up top. And if I don't like the pool, we'll get rid of it. But I feel like if we cliff edge it, it could look nice. You know what I mean? Picking a good name is like picking a funny, funny Halloween costume. I always have good intentions, but usually fall short. <laughs> it is really hard to find, like to pick out a good name for real though. It's so hard. Raise the water level and make a pond out of it. Yeah, what if we... See, that might be the play. The water level is kind of what's like a little bit weird right now. What if we raised it to this block? So instead we have it like... Uh, end up using all the dirt. Oh man, my bed is over there. Bruh. 
have a hard time looking for diamonds. Diamonds can be kind of tricky to find now, I find. I heard that in the new update, they're planning on fixing that. Because, like, strip mining can be such a pain. I went strip mining the other day um, while I was on Castaways, and I swear, like, I was, I was at it for, like, at least an hour, and I barely found anything. Green dirt blocks will never stop looking cursed to me. No, same. I don't know why. I prefer having this, like resource pack on because I think it looks nicer when you're staring at it but like in your hot bar it looks really messed up <laughs> I don't like it hey what if we did this oops two blocks high Something like that. And then we like... Yeah, raising the water up is big brain move. That was such a good suggestion. I think that's what looked kind of off about it. Thank you for the explanation, the word infinite. I took inspiration from you. I hope it isn't a problem. Oh my God, not at all. I am honored. I'm very honored. That's lovely. Okay, that, and then that could be pond as well. Let's just reshape this a tiny bit. What if we did a pond like this size instead? You know what I mean? And then boom. Then we would just have to fill this in. I could detail out the pool or the pond a bit later, but I think having a nice little shape like this could be good. You know what I mean? And then the best part is we have all of this water to choose from. Boom. Boom. We can always get kelp to help fix this water. It's gonna turn into a bit of a mess. Oops. Grab this, that was a mistake. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh wait, no, it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. I wouldn't have um I wouldn't have thought of drift in that idea. I love watching watching drift car racing. That's where I thought it came from. That's what a lot of people have told me. That's so funny cuz like I never thought of it cuz I've never really been into cars and some people were like, "Are you like really into cars or something?" And I was like, "No." I'm not, why? And they were like, because of drifting. I was like, oh my God, I've literally never even thought of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you're so right where um, effects are where context is everything. So good. The bro is such a meme. Uh, the middle schoolers in Sweden even answer uh, to teachers with it. Go get your pen, like I said, bruh. That's hilarious. <laughs> bruh is like basically eternal now. Everyone does it. That's so funny. Okay, there's a couple things we need to fix up here with some kelp. That's an easy fix, though. I love the Wimscape resource pack. It's super clean, but still vanilla-ish. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I'll have to check it out. Kelp, kelp, kelp. Boom. Mr. Rope, welcome on in. How you doing? Who wants a song from Drift? Like me sing a song? I don't think you all would ever want to hear me sing a song. I've got to be honest. I'm not the most creative in the music department. I can play like a little bit of a gu guitar and that's about it, you know? That's about it. All right, we're going to have to add some like fencing around here eventually too but i think the general idea is this boom all right what are we feeling is this gonna be rose roses 
What's the vibe? My name came from the 2728 cute potato mania. Wait, what? Was there like a cute potato fad that I missed out on? I am a dope DJ though. I do, oh, you're right. I do sing an amazing beaver. I'm like an, I'm like a beaver, uh, what is it called? It's like what, like Elvis impersonators? Yeah, yeah. Oxy, oxy daisies? Yeah, that would be cool. Guitar is cool, acoustic or electric? Mostly electric. Although I do have, actually, oh yeah, I have a, I still have my acoustic guitar. I didn't get rid of it. Roses and red tulips could be the vibe. That could be the vibe for sure. Cause then we get some red into this area. Like right now we have a lot of um, yellows and then that would kind of help bring back some like, some of these tones into here. The tulips could be really cute too with it. All right, I think that's the vibe. Sing a song, a travel song when you got to go somewhere because the fun is getting. Wait, what song is this? Is that part of a song? Man, I miss I must have missed out on this uh this potato craze. I think I did. I think I may have missed out on it. Okay, roses and then tulips. Or instead of red tulips, hear me out. Orange tulips. You know what I mean? As like the little accent or white tulips would be nice too. Maybe, yeah, maybe this is the palette. Rose, orange, and then white. I think that would be pretty cute. Torch flowers could be cool too. I keep <clears throat> forgetting that we have those. I don't think I have, a, I have as many as we would need though. So I need to be careful about that. Oh, it's a travel song from Shrek the Musical. Okay, I have not seen Shrek the Musical. I feel like I need to. You want a song from Drift? Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Yeah, I've really got to watch uh, Shrek the Musical. Oh, the torch flowers are so nice. I definitely don't have enough of these, though. The pitcher pods are really cool, too. I think I might add those into the backfield, though. I like the palette that I have with um, with these guys. I think they'll stand out. The torch flowers. Oh man, I should have made an actual collection system for those, because I'm not collecting nearly as many as I should. Let me see. I have three. Are you kidding me? That's so bad. Oh man. Do I have any torch flower? Maybe I'll take just like a couple. Just a couple. Nobody has to know. It's fine. They are very pretty. They're like very fiery, you know? Blue orchids are your favorite? I love blue orchids. I actually don't think I found any in this world either. Maybe one, maybe like one or two, but we haven't really come across a swamp. Lily of the Valley has always been your favorite. I love Lily of the Valley. Those ones are beautiful. Wild Fern, what's going on? So nice to see ya. Okay, with the, um, with this part of the field, I'm trying to think. I feel like it's got to be tilled land for sure. At this point, we've kind of committed to it. I feel like it has to be. Uh, let's get that. Still live? Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna be live for a little bit longer. I want to at least get most of um this part done. So we still got lots and lots of time.
No! Oh. Oh my gosh. Lily of the Valley is stellar as well. So nice. I think they're probably one of my favorite Minecraft flowers, to be honest. First time catching a YouTube stream. Happy to be here. Oh heck yeah. It's so nice to have you here, Wild Fern. So happy you could pop in. I hope you're having a good one today. <clears throat> I love Drift. Uh, oh my gosh. My voice. I'm losing it. I love Drift Stream. She seems like the coolest person. I love hanging out here. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You all are the coolest too. Honestly, vibes are always on point. It's so, so fun to stream with you guys. I love it. <clears throat> do you have a stream schedule it doesn't seem so which isn't a problem i enjoyed the couple of streams i've been able to catch so we have officially moved um streams one stream a week over back over to youtube so i'm gonna try to keep it as to our monday streams are on youtube however i'll let you all know if it ever changes i figured with youtube there might be a couple days here and there, depending on what project I'm working on for a video that I may have to change, but I'd like to keep it to Mondays at 12. I think that definitely works, seems to work the best. For sure. I haven't made, um, <clears throat> usually I used to make like a bunch of announcements in the community page. I actually haven't done that in a while. And I'm gonna try to start doing that again because I find that they're very helpful. Uh, Lily of the Valley IRL are super cute too. Yeah, they're so pretty. Actually, let's start from the top. Tired a bit, but okay. I feel that. I feel that. Glad to hear you're doing okay though. I find Mondays I'm always like still kind of tired from the weekend. You know, I'm like... This morning, peeling myself out of bed, I was like, I don't want to start the day. I'm so tired. <clears throat> I always loved Lily of the Valley. Then I found out it's my birth flower. Ooh, nice. That's a good one. Need to this day, my nine-year-old has been bullied all day today at school. My heart is breaking for her and knowing I can't do anything about it because I'm at work is upsetting. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Melissa. That's awful. I really, really hope <clears throat> like all of that gets resolved soon. I totally understand that feeling of heartbreak. I really, really feel for you. I hope everything's okay and I hope uh, tonight when she gets home, y'all can just like have a big hug and just like help make her feel better and stuff. I'm so sorry. Usually I'm at work, so I watch the VODs asleep, but home from work early with a migraine, so it's nice to be able to hang. Sorry you're having a migraine. Man, migraines are just like, they just put you out. It's just awful. So awful. Be nice to know about the streams ahead of time. No, absolutely, absolutely. So for like, now the schedule is Mondays at 12. That's pretty much the schedule going forward. If they ever have to make a change, we'll, I'll let you know. But as of right now, um, definitely, definitely Mondays starting at 12 Eastern is when I'll be live here for sure. Okay, so the idea here is it's gonna be flowers. The flowers here are gonna be rose, orange, and white tulips. I think that's a good combo. I feel like it'll look really cute. We won't know until we place it. Maybe all along here and maybe just like stop it here. I don't know what I put. Or should I just surround the pond even? I don't know. Do not know. Should I have had the waterfall going into the pond? Yeah, that actually would have looked kind of cute, like cool. Wonder if. Kind of works. What if we did this? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have an idea now. And when I have an idea, 
Well, let me tell you what. I have an idea. And when that idea is an idea, well, let me tell you what. Oh, wait, we might need that piece. Hold on. This is the piece I get rid of. This idea might just work. Yes. This is all coming together. This is all coming together. Don't need that piece anymore. Boom, you're gone. You're out of here! Something, something not right here. S not good. Not good here. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. There we go! Now we're talking, look at that. That's cool. Whoops. Take care people of the utmost respect. Cannot imagine working with kids that long. Says as a middle school teacher, yeah, I have some friends who um, who are teachers and daycare teachers, and man, the like they work hard and long hours too. I have so much respect for that, so much respect for that. I'm an intern currently, uh, and on Mondays and Wednesday I go to work with the babies. So the youngest is four months, and the oldest is two. And then on Wednesday I work with toddlers, two to four years. That is a buttload of work. Yeah, big big respect for that. I just got a notification that the second Crescent City book shipped. Has anyone started the series? I have not. I have not. I, there might be some bookies in uh, in chat for sure, though. I need to get back into reading, literally. I love to play Minecraft and your videos actually help me. Uh, I know I know how to build, know how to build nice houses, but yours are amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Honestly, that makes me so happy that people are like learning through my videos and stuff too. I mean, that's like a huge part of how I learned as well is by watching so, so many Minecraft videos. So I'm happy that mine kind of like do the same, you know? I literally paused my Minecraft game and went like, whoa, out loud when I looked at my second monitor and saw you making a water stream in the crop field. Literally, this, thank you to chat. I would have never done this. Like, this is literally genius. It wasn't me. It was not me. But like, why is this so good? So good. All right, what are we feeling? Are we feeling roses? Let's see. might be it this might be it i think you missed a spot i think you missed a spot when brushing your teeth blocked down <laughs> that that was really mean out of nowhere and i don't know why i did that but hey <laughs> i just had to <laughs> oh geez oh Wow, I'm sorry. You you come back into my stream and just right off the bat, I'm being a big old meanie. Hi, Blockdown. How are you doing? How's your gaming going? Were you playing the the bald game earlier? Yeah, me and Sev have not uh, we have not crossed paths yet. One day though. One day we will. And when we do, it's over for you all. Stinkies. Drift being mean is iconic. I can't be mean though. The problem is I apologize straight away. It's just, it's just worthless. <laughs> There's no point. 
I try and then immediately I'm like, I'm so sorry, block down. Can I call you later to apologize? I feel so bad. <laughs> Waiting for Brofo to finish pooping. Oh my God. <laughs> True. Now that's friendship. That is friendship. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. How does this even look? I'm not, you know what? That's pretty dang cute. That one is, that one's a cute one. That's definitely a cute one. I'm here for it. You know what they say? They're here for it. What is that? What is this untilled land I see? Not acceptable. Oh, acceptable. Oh, God. Oh, man, I keep doing that. This is rough. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay. I need the sun on this to see how it truly looks. I feel like I need more roses, though. I feel like it's really got to... There's got to be, like, twice the amount. It looks a little sparse right now, you know what I mean? Drift is mean and Canadian, so not mean, <laughs> literally. Oh, God. It'll be movie nights and screaming at video games and eating tons of crap, literally. We'll eat McDonald's 12 times a day, Sev. It would be a problem. I am not blocked down. I am not. Canadians can't be mean. <laughs> that is the most inaccurate thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but yeah, no, totally. Totally. Canadians can't be mean. Yeah, I think we just need like more flat, more uh, roses. I don't know if it'll just like completely block what we've got going on with the other one. So we'll see. Are roses the answer? I don't know, chat. I just don't know. Okay, he's pooped. Bye. Okay, enjoy your game. Love you. Bye. Let's see. Let's see. Buy poop down builds without the builds. So just poop down. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> I love how we've resorted to just making poop jokes at this point. Love that for us. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Chat, I really hope this works out because I don't want to have to rip this part. <laughs> we'll see though. Unacceptable. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, I like it. I think I like it. Do I like it? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if it's too much with the rose. I almost feel like it should just be tulips now that I'm looking at it. I almost feel like it should just be literally red, white, and orange tulips. You know what I mean? Zoomed out, it looks okay. Roses kind of do help with the, with all of the dirt that we have going on. It helps mask that, but it's a lot of green. I forgot how much green there are in the rose bushes. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. You can put smaller red flowers as well uh, as, as the roses. So you get the red color, but it doesn't look, uh, block the other. See, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Hmm. I like it, but I still think the pond needs some edge texture. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. The pond definitely needs some edge texture for sure. Maybe that's what'll kind of help frame it up. Hold on, let's see. Let's do that first. Maybe add some wheat in the open uh, t 
tilled areas to add some gold. That's a good idea. Maybe some wheat as well. You're right. It's kind of like missing like that like gold color. Oh god, I may have messed this all up. Please. Oh, is it too late? Oh. Oh. Oh no. I think I could just like if we did this. Hold on. Where did I get my third bucket from? What the? Oh man. This water do be flowing. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. There we go. Oh! Oh! Bop! Bop! Where'd you come from? What the? Oh, no. Oh, no. It looked so pretty and I ruined it. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, man. Not good. Not good, man. Not good. Oh! There we go. There we go. It's all been fixed. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why did you plant the flowers on fields? Um, I kind of like it like when they're on like tilled land. I don't know. I kind of like it when they're on like the little soil dirt thingy. The pond is good. I'm in love. <laughs> I love that explanation, Sev. I love that. Okay, this is kind of messed up though. That's fine. We can fix this. We can we can totally fix this. Nothing's wrong. Nothing is wrong. It's fine. It's totally fine. Just do this. Look. Look at that. We're fixing things, you know? Bob the Builder who? Who's that? Honestly. Honestly. Oh! Okay, okay. You get out of there. Oh yes, this is this is looking better. This pond is bigger, better, badder. You know? No issues. No issues. No issues. Ooh. None. Whatsoever. <clears throat> Canadians can definitely be rude, but by international standards, it's not actually that rude. It's like a three or four out of ten. I love that explanation. That's hilarious. Yeah, we most absolutely certainly can be rude for sure. That is so funny, though. But by international standards. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, how's she looking? It's getting there. It's getting there. Why not do them on mud then? You know what? Never considered mud, to be honest. Never have considered trying mud. It's a little too late now, <laughs> in some ways, to like try that. I, I do like the tilled land. I've used it a lot before, but mud is something that would look really nice as well. The glare in the pond? Wait, what glare? What? What's going on? Oh my god, snow, homie. How's it going? So nice to see ya. The pond is amazing. Heck yeah. We got we got a pond going. We got a pond. I think you're right where the, there needs to be some like gold happening. And I think it's similar to this where we need some like um some wheat. I think it looks better on land. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I messed that up. I think it looks better when you're like staring at it on land. But when you're like looking at it from above, it doesn't look as nice as it could. I'm wondering if uh, seeds will fix the issue. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. 
Just little bits, you know? Just a couple little bits here and there. Nothing too much. Not too little. What was that, like, trick-or-treat song? This is probably a Canadian thing now that I realize it. It's probably... I'm gonna sing it anyway. Or it's like, trick-or-treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Not too big, not too small. Just the size of Montreal. We used to sing that trick-or-treating a long time ago. But I, I realize I don't think anybody else was singing a song about Montreal outside of Canada. I just don't think that was a very likely possibility. You know? Probably didn't happen. Yeah, for future reference. Exactly, exactly. We'll give the mud a shot some other time. I think that would actually be a really good idea. Never considered that. That looks extremely good. Aw, Snow. Thanks, homie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, we are just vibing, working in our chill survival world, trying to get this farmland done. Hoping to get this video out this week. We'll see. Not we'll see. It'll happen. I've got quite a bit of uh, planting to do still, but we'll definitely get it up. Uh... This stream is going to be 10 days, literally. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so happy I was able to stream some of this, though, because I'm going to have so much work to do on it tomorrow and stuff. So it's nice that I got a portion of it done while we were just, like, hanging out. I think we got quite a bit done today. Ours was trick-or-treat, smelly feet, give me something good to eat. Not too much, not too little. Legom, just for the right amount. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of funny how every country probably has its, like, own thing. Imagine coming to someone's door and be like, trick-or-treat, smell my feet. I mean, we literally did that when we were little. We used to sing that. It was, like, it was the edgy thing. Instead of saying trick-or-treat, you would sing that instead because you were like, I'm a cool kid. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm... I'm bad. I'm gonna sing this. So bad. There we go. I guess we might as well complete out to here, too. Yeah, Podzol, more Moss, Coarse Dote, Coarse, Coarse do Dote. Why did I say that? Coarse Dirt would look really nice as well. Couple more here and there. We're pretty much good to go. Look at this. You don't do Halloween your country? Yeah, not every country does it. I've heard that um, in some places it's very, very much not the same, like to the extent that we do in Canada. It was definitely very big growing up for me. That's why we hand out candy to the tiniest kids that come down before sundown and lock the doors and turn the lights off to the older kids. No, fair, fair. <laughs> You're like, I ain't dealing with that. You hate Halloween? Honestly, fair. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. I'm just gonna bone meal some of this just to see what it looks like. Yeah, the little bits of gold make it look way better. Way better. GG's on that. GG's. Oh, we got some more rain. I swear, it rains, like, so much more in this Minecraft world than, like, it used to. I don't know what it is. Am I British? No, I'm Canadian. 
You inspired me to start a new world after years of not playing, so thank you so much. I love your builds. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. I'm glad. I hope you're having fun with your uh with your world. Oh, that's fine. Didn't want him anyway. Do a British accent? Oh no, I'm so bad at British accents though. I'm so bad. Don't put me on the spot here, chat. Don't put me on the spot. Come on. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, man. I need more bone meal. Whee! This is like a little slip and slide. Whee! I would quite like to hear a British drift impersonation. Oi, mate, I'm blocked down builds. Fine day, innit? Fancy a Sunday roast. <laughs> That's my inner block down. I remember one year in the family chat, my brother, my brother posted, I'm all ready for Halloween and just posted a picture of his wireless doorbell with batteries removed. That's actually hilarious. That's so funny. Okay, I think. Just need a couple more here. Ah, I'm sliding and I can't stop. It's like looking a little bit messy with it, but I like it. I don't know. I like the pop of gold, I think. Just need more in... Oh wait, no, that's just growing. That's just growing. Okay, sweet. Heck yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I wish I could just sleep now, honestly, because I want to see what it looks like in the sunlight. It's kind of hard to tell when everything's like rainy and gloomy. But I think I like that better. If anything, I might just end up getting rid of some of the white flowers, to be honest. Like the white tulips. And replacing it with, um, replacing those with seeds. Boom. I don't mind the, um, oops, the orange tulips. I said as I was literally about to break one, but hey, that's okay. I think there's just like too much going on. So it would benefit from like pulling back on one of them, you know? Uh, got one here, here. As a Brit, that was both the best and worst impersonation impersonation I've heard as at a long time. I, in a long time, I love it. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. The best worst British impersonator at your service. Oh, God. That sounds Aussie? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm a failure. I'm a failure, chat. I'm so bad at accents, though. I can't do it. I just cannot. Help me stay awake. <laughs> Not really. I'm joking. Man, I'm once I'm tired, I'm done. Like, I'm out. There's no, there's no keeping me awake. I am the type of person to literally fall asleep. Like I could fall asleep anywhere, anytime. I'm so bad for that. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly, this is like, the most like meticulous thing I've done in Minecraft in a while. Like slowly pulling out all of these white tulips. It's so funny. There we go. I think it'll look better though.
Almost there. There's some up there too. I'm just gonna grab these little guys quickly. Boom, boom. Literally think it's this one last guy. It's probably another one hidden somewhere. There is, I missed one. Bruh. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. It's more of like a palette going on. Especially with the orange and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like that, I think. I just wanna see it all grown in. Nice, nice, nice. If it's Aussie, it should be oh, nar. Nar. I love oh, nar. Seb, you sound a lot more British than American. You have such a soft accent. I, Seb, I thought you were British at first for some reason. I don't know why. I really did think you were, you were British. Good control um, on accent. Yeah, Seb has a very, very, very good accent. It's cool. Went out for a while, what'd you miss? Uh, we have just finished this last little bit of field. So I gotta, the, the wheat still has to grow in, but it's basically tulips, flowers, and then, uh, whatchamacallit. You know what? The coarse dirt and the mud would have been a really great idea in terms of like having, next time I'm gonna do that, uh, for having like all of the block exposed because even with this tilled land, the problem is you still get that dirt on the side and it looks kind of gnarly in some ways. So I think definitely next time I'm gonna add some like mud and stuff in. That's like a good lesson learned for sure. But I think it's looking really good. I just wish it would stop raining, <laughs> honestly. It's so, so frustrating. I feel like I could probably sleep soon. To be fair, you think every accent is English until proven otherwise? Okay, that's very true. That's literally very true. <laughs> you, Big Tiny Duck, you literally come in to roast me, but it's so true. I'll, I literally, like, will listen to something. I'll be like, oh yeah, like that British person. You're like, they are literally Australian. What are you doing? <clears throat> My accent is Ronald McDonald? What is that even? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm crying. Winter, welcome on in. How you doing? All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this now. Oh yeah. You know what? No, I like that. I like that a lot better now that we got rid of the tulips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the green I like now that we have like different types of fields around. I think this is looking really good. Really good. Let's do like a little walkthrough. Just a little, quick little walkthrough. Wondering why there's no boys in castaways. Honestly, when me and Brooke made the SMP, we just wanted to have like an all gals SMP, pretty much. That that was just like kind of our idea. We have a lot of uh, female friends and we just kind of like, we're like, well, what if we did this? I think it would be a really fun, a really fun thing. The boys are Ken's, exactly. <laughs> yeah, girls rule, dogs drool, something like that. <laughs> yeah, they do beach, they do beach. All the boys are busy doing beach. Yeah, this walkthrough is looking really nice. Really nice. Gotta hop out now. See you all next time. Have a nice stream. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, Janie. I really appreciate it. I'll definitely catch you. We'll catch you next time for sure. Yeah, this is uh, looking real nice. I think the pond thing with like the little river we added in is so cool. It also kind of helps break it up because this is like a really messy one. Really messy, but I like it. It's like messy in a good way. Heck yeah. The way, uh, the way one showed up in swimming shorts. <laughs> you mean like the, the villager? So good. So good. We were not expecting that. I think it's part of the beach party mod or something like that. It's so funny. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this area has turned out. Let me just like, hold on a second. Boom. Very nice. Yeah, that that's looking real fresh. Real fresh chat. All right. I think that's probably gonna be it uh, for today's stream. 
I think that's gonna be it. We filled out a ton of fields, so there's a lot of editing that I'm gonna have to do. So I probably should do that for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thanks, BTD. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much, everybody, for today for helping me with these fields. I think we made a lot of good adjustments to them. I think it's looking real, real fresh. And I'm going to have to finish up the back portions uh, off stream. I will be doing that for the rest of the week, probably. I'll be finishing all of this farmland up. And hopefully I will get this episode out to you all very, very soon. Um... And also, don't forget that we are streaming here on Mondays now. I like how I was like running into the camera. <laughs> so awkward. I think we're going to be keeping these to Mondays, though. So keep an eye out. Uh, every Monday, we're going to be streaming here on YouTube at 12 p.m. If the date ever changes, I will let you all know in the channel tab. But we're going to try to keep it consistent with Mondays and all of that stuff. Um... But yeah, we're going to be doing a collection or an array of different things. So maybe next week we'll be on a different SMP or in this world. I'm not too sure yet, but it'll be uh, whatever needs to be done, I guess. So thank you so much again, everybody. I had so, so much fun with you all today. Super, super fun times. Um, we got lots and lots of beautiful work done on the base. And Ruth is up here. So I guess that's my cue to go because she needs some cuddles. Bye, everybody. Thank you all so much. I had so much fun. Bye.